I go live. All right, guys. We're sorry about that. We're gonna try to. You gotta move this one. I'm gonna try to get this to. Uh, hopefully, it's gonna work. Uh, we'll try it all over again. Um, if you guys have any issues, just let us know. But I think we're good. Um, I see a bunch of you coming over now. We're going to just give you a couple of minutes to come over. Yes, Carla, I can see you. Yes, I see you. Yep, Harold, I see you too. Yes, Ruth, this is the new stream. Hey, Scotty. All right, guys, I see you guys coming over now. Thank you. We appreciate it so much. Thank you guys for coming in. And... Uh, we're going to just give it, give it a minute to bring everybody back over to this new stream. I'm not sure what happened there. I'm not sure if it was on our end, on YouTube's end, but we're starting a new stream to see if we can get it to uh, stop glitching in the chat, and hopefully we can make this work. We'll give you guys a little extra time to bid um, in the first couple of lots to make sure we're seeing everything. If you do not hear us, you do not hear me say, okay, Harold's at 40, or you don't hear, okay, Harold's out, then that means that we are not seeing what you're typing in the chat. Uh, chat. I'm going to try to call everything I possibly can. So if you don't hear me say that, or you, and Ma, you don't see Mama G typing that in the chat, um, then we'll, uh, we'll have an issue again, and you'll let us know. All right. I'm going to give it few more minutes just to get a few more people in here do see you guys all coming yep all right yeah you might want to test top chat and live chat make sure that's working I'm gonna pop out my chat again and see if we can't get it to uh, correctly go to live chat without issue mama G what are you seeing on your end I'm looking pretty good over here. Janine's yelling, YouTube, go to the corner. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jade seems to be good. She's on live chat. Harold's on live chat so far. Talbert's mom says it's working for now. Okay. Who do you see in your live chat as the last person who commented? I see borderline hoarderish. Yes, Janine Ketchum. Awesome. Awesome. Now I see Gail live chat here. All right. I think we're good. I think, I think we are too. I think we're good. All right, guys. Sorry about that. Not sure what the issue was, but we're going to get started. Um, thank you guys all for coming over, following us over here. Uh, yep. Thank you. See Junebug. I see Don. I see Harold sinking on our end. Good. Awesome. Yep. All right. All right. Thank you, guys. Well, I'm going to be back here, but I'm going to stay on mute unless you need me to jump. Okay. Something. Yeah. Okay. If you see anything wonky going on where I'm calling it or you don't see me calling it or you don't see, like, if I say, you know, Junebug's in at 20. All right. Anybody want to go 22? When you see somebody at 22, just chime in and just say T, okay. just so we know kind of where we're at. All right. No problem. All right, looks like we're going to start with this lot of 8-track tapes. Okay. All right, looks good. And we'll, we'll get you guys a count once we get them laid out, and we'll figure out what they are. Yeah, because I don't know. <laughs> they are all factory sealed, though. Awesome. Okay. So we have Oh Happy Day. This is, uh, I don't know who. Oh Happy Day. Stereo 8-track. These are factory sealed. Love can make you happy. And this is our lot number 10, guys. And we're going to start this one off at 20. Yeah, it's fine. Jimmy Webb and Sons. And so on, Jimmy Webb. These are factory sealed. 30 days out. Hey, Scotty. Scotty's going to start us off at 20. Miguel Brown, free delivery. Like I said, these are factory seals. I'm going to put them in stacks of five just so we have a count. It's great. 
formed by the perfect piece. Super hits. The Almon Brothers hit album. Oh, Scotty's going to outbid himself. He Jeff wants to Rose, go 30. Celestial. Thank you, Cindy. Tall Dark Strangers, Country Westerns. Jeffrey Kane for you. That's Life, George Mon. Freddie Hart, please don't tell her. By Pickwick. Celestial. Right on from Kansas City, Wilbur Harrison. And Chandra comes in at 32. Scotty now at 34. Look, look. That's how much dust is in these houses that I get into. Johnny Johnson and the Bandwagon. Factory sealed for your protection. Music from around the world. Dance party. Summit meeting. Let's see if it gives me a name. Eddie Harris, Bill Henderson, Paul Chambers, Lewis Hayes. Incredible Brass plays Tom Jones. Eddie Harris, Might Like a Rose. Connie Eaton, now. Spanish Rhapsody. Twin Pack, Anthony Armstrong Jones. All right, Scotty's in for 34, looking for 36 now. Top of hits, or top hits of today. So this one has Light My Fire, Gypsy Fire, Free Bass, No Tomorrow's, Reflections, Bye Baby, Diffusions, and Warm Up. I don't know any of those. All right, Scotty's coming in at 40 now. Paul Weston, Soundstage, Gone with the Wind. Indiscretion, The Sound of Bernadette. Guest stars of songs, various artists. We're going to count the units in just one second, Chandra. The of Charlie Burnett. I'm putting them in stacks of five. So you guys can see. So we're up to 25. Yeah. Latin dance party. Some of these could be really rare. For Bird and Bags, Eddie Harris. The Stone Mans. This is a cool looking one. Hey, Rise Up. Hey, Junebug. Thank you guys for coming over. I appreciate it. Um, Bird, Jimmy Lloyd. You guys can share this out, the second stream. If anybody wants to put it on their community page Johnny or toss Lloyd. it up on their Facebook page, greatly appreciate it. Instagram. Original voice track from her greatest movies from Mae West. Oh, that's cool. And 101 string orchestra. So, so far you have 30, it looks like 35. All right, and Kyle Elliott's in at 42 now. Okay. 45 eight tracks. 35 of them. There's 30, 35. There's 34 of them that are sealed and one that is not. It has a whole drill thing. That was like a promo or something like that. But 34 sealed old factory stock. <laughs> Filthy hands. <laughs> dirt and dust is always free here at the dirt, auction. Dirty, dirty bride. Dirt and dust always free here at the auction. 50 now from Scotty. Poor Joe South. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 55 would be our next bid, Kyle. If you're still in, let us know. 55 from Jenny now. Jenny gets in the mix. 60 from Scotty. I like this Mae West one. How often do you see 8-tracks tapes still sealed? Right? Never. All right. Scotty's in for 60, guys. Let us know. And Scotty's like, shh, shh, Brian. Knock it off. Jenny's in at 65. <laughs> 70 now from Scotty. Is 
It's a great help when you guys can send an email with your lot number and your winnings. Just in case, you never know. You guys can help us keep track. If you win more than one lot, you only need to send one email. That will help us as well. $80 now from Scotty. Again, 35 total pieces. Just a little bit over $2 each. Shift. Yeah. Awesome. A tracks are hot right now. What news for you? <laughs> we've, we've had a lot of people ask for them. Brian, does yes, June Doug need to send you an email with the lot that um, Janine gifted her? Yes. Okay, because she didn't. I'm sure I have it in the chat in the email I sent you. Yeah, it's it's the lazy was. Susans. Okay. We have it marked here. Pam says she's got it, but yeah. we need just have June send his her information to Brian so he can mail okay. it out. Yep. Thanks, Junebug. Did you hear that? Just email, honey. Yeah, we're professionals here. I got it. I got you. Pam's on top of it. She messaged me right away. Like a pole dancer on Sundays. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Brian. <laughs> I'm wrong with him. <laughs> All right, 90 now to Scotty. That's why I keep saying, Christine, we should just start our own shipping business here. Pam's amazing. Why is Kyle shaking his head over Cody. there? <laughs> Cody, rather. <laughs> What'd you say? I'll regret what? Starting your own shipping. Did he work no, for no. not not from this warehouse particularly? We're just saying oh. shipping across the YouTube community or the eBay community. We ship so, so we could get you know we could show the post office and all these other carriers how it's really done. That's right, ninety with Scotty. Thirty-five, thirty-four of them are factory sealed. I'm going to start putting them back in the box, yep. guys. We're gonna call it. We're gonna start to count it down. Jenny, let us know. We need ninety-five now, honey. Awesome lot. Ninety-five would be the next bid. Ninety-five from Jenny. I didn't even know I had these until yesterday. And Scotty's in with a Benjamin. Woohoo! Thank you, Scotty. One ten is our next bid. Ten dollar increments now. Once we get to one hundred, we're looking for ten dollar increments. So 110 would be the next bid. Jenny's going to be out, and we're going to call this to Scotty at $100 going once. And thank you guys for all following us over. If, though, if anybody here has a Facebook group or a Instagram or a community page, please go ahead and let us um, and go ahead and share it for us. <laughs> Twice now. <clears throat> and with a fair warning, now my end sounds like T's voice is slurring. So does Mama G. Okay, I haven't been drinking in days, so I'm not slurring nothing. In like an hour and a half. <laughs> Shut so up. She's sitting the sangria. Shut up. No, I've been really good this week. Really good. Really good. All right, sold to Scotty for $100. Congratulations, Scotty. Thank you, Harold. We appreciate it so much. Thanks so much. Thank you, Mountain Man. Okay, where's my $50 start? All right, $50, $50 start. $50 start, guys. Save us time here. Yeah. Yep. Since we got you guys. It looks like double the amount, too. Uh, that's, that's a lot. Looks like double the amount, too. Thank you, KK. All right, Scotty's wasting no time. Scotty starts us off at 50 This is 3, 6, 9, 10 right there. So we're going to find out how many we got. And then I'll try to show you guys what's there because I don't know. All right, we'll get you a count first and then we'll get you. We'll show them to you as I put them back in the what box. they are. 
So this is lot number 11, eight tracks. Starting bid is 50, and we have our starting bid from Scotty. These are stacks of 10 in front of us. Ooh, looks like some duplication here yeah. of Galveston. Easy to list. Easy to list. We got some duplicates. These are totally horrible. Totally. <laughs> you know who's saying that, right? Anthony? <laughs> no, Scotty. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at this. These are yellow. 55 from Chris the Goose. Hey, Goose. Are they all sealed in this lot as well? Yes, everything that there's two that I found that were not sealed. I haven't showed those yet. Okay, thank you. All right, dirt, dirt and dust is always free here at the auction. It's a bonus. Okay. Six, nine, ten. Right. Okay, let's see. Three, six, nine, ten. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so it looks like we have 30, 60, 70, 71 sealed, and then two that are not. Okay. Now I'll show, them what, show you guys what they are. These are the two that are not sealed, Norwood Original Soundtrack. And they're duplicates. Yep, and they're a pair of duplicates. Theme from the motion picture Alfie and others. What's it all about? I don't even know what that is. Yeah, well, Best of all, that's where I show my age. Jimmy Witherspoon. <laughs> Pickwick, Jerry Wallace, Shutters and Boards. Freddie Hart from Canada to Tennessee. Scotty now at 60. Jerry Wallace. That's a duplicate. Little Green Apples. Don't know who that is. Eddie Dean sings. Another one of those. And we have a Benjamin from Scotty already. Woohoo! Congratulations. Does the sun really shine on the moon, Gary McCann. Brian, we have not done the shirts yet. No. Nope. We're going to start those very soon. And vintage clothing is going to start very soon. I told everybody right around 2 o'clock we're going to start some of that stuff. Love Hungry by Warner Mac. Music for a Lonely Evening. And where was that yesterday? <laughs> sure, I'm just kidding. Pride, Warner Brothers. There's three of those, and they're on a yellow eight track tape. Kind of cool. Festival of Live Hits. It's a duplicate. This one's on a red package. You can see right here. So there's different packaging. Check that one out. A Go Go Guitars. So, like Go Go Girls. Jungle Drums, more Jungle Drums by Martin Gold. 73, Jenny, 71 sealed and two unsealed. The two unsealed are duplicates. Yep. And there is duplication in this lot. So easy to list. Theme from Motion Picture of Alfie. Three of those. Looks like one is black, two are white. Country Western sound of Dave Dudley. There's a couple of those. They're in two different box styles. Probably just wherever they sold them had different boxes. Mary Queen of Scots, that's from a movie. Warner Mac Love Hungry. Irish Springs Imagination. Oh, Irish Strings. Sorry, not Irish Spring. <laughs> I think these are all the same. This Galveston right here. Galveston. And other pop country and western hits. The Golden Cal Calcutta Show. Calcutta Show. So there are oh, other pops, C and W, Gordon Calcutta, Calcote. So there are seven of that one, maybe eight. Nope, seven of that one. And this one is, it's such a pretty world today. This one's kind of neat. Jerry Butler. Oops. Look, they even have them in the old car. Sean, I'm using them in the car. It's funny. Well, that's where they want you. On Yarborough. <laughs> Not when I was born. Yes, they were in the car. <laughs> Rose Garden. 
I never promise you. Around the World in 80 Days. It's from the movie. Oh, thank you. Easy listening. Showbiz Kid Steely Dan. Ringo Starr. Led Zeppelin. So there's Led Zeppelin. Bob Here's Bob Dylan. Dylan. Ohio Players. Charlie Rich is there. I know a bunch of those. Yankees. Look. Yankees Rebel Son. Tommy Nett. Nitty Gritty. Another nitty gritty. So Jerry Butler, D. Clark, Priscilla and the Spaniels, Eddie Taylor, the Crumb Brothers, Joe Buckner, down on the corner, John Travers. Are any of these quadraphonic tapes? We don't. They're on, they're sealed, what Tammy. Is, so it's hard to look. It's it, the way they. What the, does quadraphonic the cut, mean? The cut. I don't know if they're marked somewhere, but oh, I, I know, know the cut. Sometimes we'll tell you. We'll we'll show the difference. Yeah. Don't know how to tell, guys. You see what I see. Do you see? No, that's Christmas. <laughs> that's Christmas. <laughs> Skip a rope and other Western favorites. Johnny Meeks sings. Charlie Richards expressions. Another one of the RCA ones. Um, double take. Let's see if I know of any of these. Chet Atkins, I know who he is. Homer and Jethro. A flea in her ear. In the motion picture, a flea in her ear. There's another Galveston. So one of those Freddie Hearts. It says continuous play eight track tape by Pickwick. Enhanced for stereo. Does that help? Yeah, Tom Cruise is actually saying quad would be easily, easily be eligible. Skip legible rip. on them, so oh, okay. So then they're not. N then they're not. Living Maribus, Living Brass, and Little Spanish Town. But it's cool that they're all sealed. Russ Gajir, another nitty gritty. And we've showed them pretty much all to you. Anthony Armstrong Jones. Ed Ames, The Impossible Dream. LV Pink Peacock. What's going on? Last date. We're getting ready to do some vintage Jackie. clothing. Jackie. Jackie, you might want to tell Katie too because we're going to have a vintage concert t shirts. Glenn Yarborough, Honey and Wine. And Live at the Hungry Eye. All sealed. Super hits, Rick Nelson, Joe Cocker, Three Dog Night, Johnny Nash, Elvis Presley for Burning Vicky. Love. Sorry, Vicky. <laughs> Mac <laughs> Davis. I knew that was wrong. Eddie Harris. So like I said, 73 total. Thank you for coming in, Vicky. Expressions of 110 Richards. now from Jenny. So these are all sealed. 71 sealed. Two unsealed, 73 in total, and we have Jenny in at 110. That's a lot of eight tracks. That's a lot of eight tracks. Told you guys. All right, Scotty's going to actually be out, and we're going to pass this on to Jenny. Nice score, Jenny, going once. And ladies and gentlemen, that's okay, Jules. Time to let Jenny learn a tracks. Okay, Scotty. <laughs> and we're going to be sold to Jenny. Congratulations, Jenny. 110 to Jenny. Nice pie, Jenny.
maybe it did it again where it didn't accept my sold until I dropped it the second time. Okay. Okay. But we're good. Yeah, we're good. I just, that's why it wasn't filled in the second time. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. A little lot of vintage clothing. All right. But we were sold to Jenny. 73 to eight tracks for $110. Okay. So first piece up is Joan Ruth shops, the malls at short Hills. This is a velvet top right here. Try to show it to you guys. Early uh, glass beaded. You can see all the glass beads. Very pretty. All right, this is lot number 12. And we're gonna start this off at $15. $15 shipped. Uh, so this is from that, those, those guys shop, it's a vintage clothing shop. So here's like a little Top. This one says 1960s women's pink native print top medium. Some things were marked, some things are not. This is a wool pencil skirt done in like a twill. And Vicky's going to start us off at 15. Um, I don't see a label on this one, and I see no tag from them. So. Nope. Okay, and then we have another vintage skirt in like a black twill with pink check pattern. This one also does not look like it has any markings or a label that I can see. Again, probably. 40s, early 50s. Some of these might be early 60s too, because mm, this that, one's that not, looks like a 60s. 60s yeah. yeah. I don't know. Don't don't like fabric. Don't like clothing. <laughs> I buy it because I'm cursed. Uh, this is another like skirt. I'm trying to show you guys like the pattern. This is really pretty. It's really soft, too. It's almost like an Angora. It's really soft. Let's see what they say. Women's blue, black, bolche, bol bolsey. Bolche, yeah, bolche, bolche dress. Dress, belt. I don't see a belt. Doesn't mean that we don't have one. It just means that it's probably not here. So this is a full length dress. It's below the knee. It's not full length. It's below no. the knee. Yeah. Oh, okay, well, it's yeah. below the knee then. It's not a, not a tiny skirt. Let's see. Inside, there's a little, like, union label type thing there. But it's really soft. I don't know what bullshit means, so maybe that means that maybe that's the type of fabric. And then there is this beautiful brownish peach, yeah, brown with a whatever you would call this, a hangly dangly. And this has a little number 12, so it's a size 12. Um, but I don't see any other labels or tags. There, here's a little tag with a number. Now, this is just like the uh, like the women's work label, the union label. And I don't see any other tags inside, but this is the sheer fabric that's on it. And I guess this can go down around your waist or up at the top. I don't know. I haven't worn one of these in a long time. <laughs> but out of this lot, my favorite is probably the beaded thing because I like shiny stuff. So with all the little glass beads on it. Ten. All right. We have Vicky in at 15, looking for 17 now. Tammy wants to know if there's any sizes that she's not heard. 
Um, we're looking at this probably medium, mostly mediums to large. The one was a t size 12. Yep. Mediums to large, most of these. I'm going to say this is even probably a 10 or a 12 as far as I what I can see. Add a 12 on it. Yeah. All right. Chris Law comes in at 17. Vicky's in at 20. Chris Law now at 22. I thought this one had a, and this one has just this label on the top. And that might have been like a little couture shop. It's a little beadwork done. And it zips in the back. All right, 25 from Vicky. Chris Law is out. All right, any other interest? We're going to go once to Vicky at 25. So we're 25 on the slot. We're going to go once. I typed twice now already. Nope. Nope. Not seeing it, Mama G. All right. Last thing I see from you is thanks, Chris, Chris Law. Your chat's frozen then because I just refreshed my chat and I can still see mine. Okay. And I am selling it right now. There. Sold, sold, sold. All right. Congratulations, Vicki. Yep. Lot number 12. $25. If you guys don't know who Vicki and Vicki and Katie are, they are. They have a YouTube channel. They're out of Vegas. They do an amazing job for vintage clothing and other awesome stuff. So you guys should make sure to check out their channel because they are awesome for the community. They help teach people about different things. Okay, here is a awesome vinyl jacket. Check this out. Too bad Chris Chatworth's not in here today. Huh? He'd love this. 1960s brown vinyl unisex jacket with liner, extra small, small. Is what it says, but it's got like a little fur virgin. It says this coat is virgin vinyl. That means it hasn't been worn out yet. <laughs> this is a size 14, but this is the liner. And you have the inliner. This is cool. It's just got a, a really neat look to it. We're going to do a $20 start. This one has a belt here. A $20 start because of the weight of this. And then these are much, much older, but they need to be cleaned. So this is a like a white dress. So it's white on white embroidery right here. But Women's then, jewels. Uh, no, actually, that was unisex. unisex yeah. The jacket is unisex. So this is a... But adult. Adult 14. A white... Like I said, it has some staining, so it needs like some brown... I would say these are probably rust stains. But it does have lace work done, like as far as the... Embroidery, the yeah. Embroidery, embroidery work. No cracks on the jacket that we can nope. see. Looks pretty good. Yeah, the jacket's beautiful. So there's this. This is early... And then there is another piece, also same time period as that. A little more plain, but definitely has a lot of brown spots kind of everywhere. So I think it's rust or dust or something spilled on it. Um, but has really cool mother of pearl buttons. Here are the button snaps in the back. 
PS Dream. So very like reminds me of like Little House on the Prairie ish. So you get all three pieces, twenty dollars start. So, all right, and we have Vicky in a twenty. The jacket is amazing, especially with that like, fluffy inliner. Reminds me of like pony hide seats. Mm -hmm. It's not. And has like the uh, the matching buttons. They're all there. Has pocket uh, flaps. Buttons are all there. So very cool. I didn't check the pockets to see if it was had any labels inside the pockets. I am slowly but surely learning clothing a little bit. Look, it even has an extra extra button, button. Extra, extra button. sleeve button. I think. Yep. yep. It's an extra sleeve button inside. As long as that has two on that side. Yep, has two on both sides. Yep. Um, okay. Very cool. I really like that. All right, Vicky's in for twenty. Do we have twenty-two? Love the big collar. Looking for twenty-two now, guys. Awesome jacket. Hey, Susan. Yeah, Scotty, for sure. All right, if there's no other interest, we're going to count it down to Vicky. Yep. And we're going to go once. And we'll go twice now. Carl Nanny's like, wow, that's old. <laughs> <laughs> and with a fair warning. 1960s. Awesome. We're going to sell it to Vicky for $20. Wow. She's going to steal that one away Bargains. today, guys. Steal that one away. I'm going to see this on Vicky's show in like a week. Mm -hmm. I bought from Mr. Bicelot for $20. Mm -hmm. Sold for $350. Which would be awesome. I hope you do. We want to see that. We love it. It's a great advertisement for us here at the auctions. Okay. Two more trays of vintage clothing, then we'll go to do something else. I have some Pokemon cards. How many people we have in here? 114. 114. I have I have some Pokemon cards that came out of a house the other day. And I don't feel like figuring out what they are. <laughs> so I know that's a hot market right now. So this is by Majestic. A little blouse top, or I don't know if this guy's or girls. This is lot number 14, and we're going to start this lot off at $20. Yeah, hey, whatever. Okay, this is silk. This is beautiful. This is probably 1940s peach silk rayon bed jacket with lace. It says as is, but look at the cool. The name is Femi Craft, Silk and Rayon by Imperial. All Look right, Anthony, lace. coming up, coming up. And then we still have vintage tees to get to, I think. Some little buttons, yep. Yep, we got concert t-shirts coming soon. A little silk night dress, night top. We have another skirt done with, I don't know what you call it, stripes <laughs> of some sort, whatever you call the fabric. Uh, this one does not have any tags or labels that I can see. It's got a side zip. Here is a black dress. Kind of sheer. Very neat. You can see the little design in it. Pockets. So this is very, very cute. Has buttons and a little collar. Um, it's like a little crop top or crop neck or whatever you call it. Whenever the, the neck is curvied. Sorry, I don't know clothes. Hard for me to explain them. This one is done by Karen Kane. Vintage dress. This reminds me of something like. Thanks, Glenn. We'll see you in a bit. Rosie the Riveter would wear out, or that girl from uh, American Pictures. So very cute. 
has this little like bow tie Karen Kane. Hey Todd. Dress. So we have what's that? Three, four, five pieces so far. Um, Pokemon cards and some concert tees coming up. I'm yep. not sure about sports cards today. Yep, I have a lot over there. All right, we will show a lot. So this is a oh, kind of reminds me of like 60s ish, maybe 50s design, but has these little round designs on it. What do you think? This one is Styval, Montreal, Canada. Um, it's cute. I like that one. And then out of this lot, I love this. It's just funky. Purple with these giant purple round ball buttons. Oh, that's cool. It's <laughs> like a wool. And you'll have to see the jacket I sold like this the other day. Men's jacket. Young though, but... Edwardian by Arpeja. A-R-P-E-J-A. So very cool. Chandra's in a 24 now. Awesome lot. Some nice dresses, jacket. Nice big lot. 30 from Vicky. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces in this lot. All vintage. And we have Vicky in for 30. Chandra, let us know. 32 is the next bid. 35 from Sergeant Spork. How you doing, Spork? You want me to order food? No, I can't eat that food. I have to eat that food. Okay. I'll be going. Why didn't they? I'll have I'll have Cody call it out. We we'll get some pizza up in here and some chicken fingers. That doesn't bother party. me. That doesn't bother me. Get some lasagna up in here. When you're married to a chef, it only bothers me when he cooks his specialties. Thirty-five from Sergeant Spork. Looking for thirty-seven now. Todd, just do me a favor and click that registration link where Mama G dropped it and just fill it out for us. That's all. Thank you, honey. Forty now from Vicky. Thank you, Vicky. Nice lot. Really love this the lace on this. So Kyle wants to know what we're getting. Well, maybe we'll have Kyle pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're gonna order caddy pizza. I think we're gonna get some chicken fingers and pizza. It's just easy to handle while we're doing the auction and moving lots around. I am Harold T. <laughs> so still love this. That's why I'm on a diet and losing six and a half pounds this week <laughs> and not eating pizza <laughs> and not drinking. <laughs> Hear that, Pam? Just was going to order any pizza, huh? No, <laughs> I'm fine. It doesn't bother me. We definitely need to order pizza. It does not bother me in the Call least. And... Yeah. All right, Sergeant Spork is out. Okay, wonderful. Thank you, Todd. Appreciate it. All right, we're going to count it down to Vicky at 40 going once. That should be good for everybody there. Um, you mean for me? The steaks are just fine. Plain steak. That way everybody can, can have something. We're going to go twice now. Let me check. I like the red dress, but it won't look right on me. Uh, it's going to cut, you know, it's going to. Kind of, my eyes. No, it's going to kind of cut at the, <laughs> at the <laughs> hips. I'm going to cut you wrong at the hips, Brian. Uh, yeah. And with a fair warning, we are going to be sold to Miss Vicky for $40. Congratulations. Congrats, Vicky. Okay, let's, let's do a little lot. See if we got anybody in the house for some some of these. I bought a box. I'm going to split it into two. Um, these are in the kid's bedroom. Okay, Todd, thank you for registering. I appreciate it. Um, KJ, if you're here, let me know. We'll rent you up for bidding. 
Pokemon's cards and some. Oh no, no, those are sleeves. Okay. And remember, guys, here on auctions for you, having a wrench just means you're eligible to bid. We don't require you to perform any moderator duties. We have our moderators in the house. Let's do this lot. Yeah. So I'll show you guys what's here because I don't know this stuff. Awesome, Todd. I just know Pokemon or a lot of people looking for them. I play this stupid game on my phone. So trainer. And the energies are, are junk, so. Brian wants a close-up on them. Yes, you yep. got it, KJ. Thank you, honey. Thanks so for joining. What? Appreciate it. $10 start. $10 start on the Pokemon. One, two, Lot three. number 15. Like I said, I know the energies are no great shakes, so you'll see me skip past those. Corsola, Machop. I see 2002. This one's 1998. This one's 2000. So, energy. That one's a weird looking energy. I don't know why. So, what, like 1998 to 2000 or, is what you're thinking? 19, yeah, 2002 was the newest one I saw. This one's 1999. It was like 1998 to 2002. All right. Yes. Mixed years and sand dollar raisin for 22. I'm trying to. I know the energies are no good, so I'm trying to get you guys past it. Oh, there, here's a shiny one. It's shiny. I like shiny. Don't they call that holographic? Yeah. Okay. Hol <laughs> 24 to Panther. Quick ball. Oh, this one's shiny too. The other one was shiny outside here, and this one's shiny on the inside. 26 to Ray. Rapidash. These ones got sleeves on them, so does that make them better? Oh, these have sparklies. 30 to Brian. So hey, Rebel sparkles. Junk. See, these are on Looking for 32 out. now, Rebel Junk. They're in little sleeves, so they're in really good shape. Patina. These are shiny. Aurora Energy, Vitality Band, Citrus Berry. I don't know why these ones got sleeves, but. Raisin 30 at 32. Why are they so cold? Because they were in my car. Ah, okay. And Brian Maroney's up at 50 now. This one's got shiny on the bottom and. Like all over the whole thing, like down here. Drampa, Orange Guru. This one's shiny also. Fifty-five from Ray. This one's shiny all over. It's got like lines and shininess. Brian's in at seventy. Noctowl. Here's a hoot hoot. That one's got a. I caught one of those this morning. It's got shiny all over. Snorlax. This one's shiny on the inside. And there's the same thing, but not shiny on the inside, shiny on the outside. Okay, Janine, I will do. Here's a Kufant. This one's shiny on the outside. So there's a bunch of shiny ones. I think T is taking out the energies. No, I'm just turning Honestly, everything so. the same way, just so Blaine's it goes million. quicker. Yeah. <laughs> Like a tongue, Vulpix. Bam! Sand Dollar Ray in for the Benji. Thank you, Ray. Try to get the ones with the sleeves up there and give you guys some kind of number of how many pieces there are. And Brian's in at one thirteen. He pulls a thirteen dollar, ten dollar increments at this point. So anything above is fine. He went more than ten. We're good with that. One twenty three is the next bid. I'm going to try to put a stack of 100 together so that I can figure it out. Okay. 
All right. So meanwhile, Carla, if you can fill out the registration form, Mama G just dropped in the chat. We'll make you eligible to bid by filling out the form. That would be great. Thank you. So this is a stack of 100. Now these ones have little sleeves, so this stack's going to get bigger. So there's at least 200 cards. Here's other ones. Squirtle. Or Ivy Sora, I have one of those. I play Pokemon Go, so you'll hear me say that. Huh. So King. And we have Todd in at 125 now. Oh, I got one of these too. Farfetched. Porygon. So there's at least 200 cards. Let's say that's that's probably roughly 200 there. So it looks like you're getting about 250 cards, maybe. And that's whole energy. And then there's a couple more energies. So it looks like there's about 250 cards in the slot. All right, and we have taught in at 125. And let us know if there's any other interest, Carla. I'm going to check for your registration. I'm going to add another stack. We're going to make it at least 300 cards. I don't know why they've come back to back. Charmander. Well, that's why I was trying to turn some of them around so you could show them quicker. Psyduck. Bye bye. And the Charmander. Oregon. T, I've got Chandra saying that she'll belt Carla for this bid on this lot only if you don't have her info yet. I'm sorry, say that again. Chandra is saying, I'll vouch for Carla's bid on this lot only. Okay. Her info. I'll take Chandra's. I'll take her word on this. No right, problem. Another, okay. Another. All right. If Carla wants to bid and Chandra's going to stand up for her, no problem. We're There's just going to need, tiny. even if Chandra can't fill out the form and she can send us an email, that would be great. Okay. I don't know if she's having problems with the uh, registration form, but she did not register as of yet. I just checked. I, there was a lag with that too, but it usually comes through when I refresh and she's not in there yet. So you're getting at least 300 cards. So 300, 320, something like And that. now that I said that, there's her registration and we're good. Good to go. Um, well, I, I, we're somewhat good to go. We just need to know the city, state, and zip code, Chandra. So, I uh, mean, uh, Carla. Um, not sure where that street is. Could be anywhere in America. So you do need to fill out city, state, and zip code. He's in this box. But if she wants to bid, that's fine. Has Pack Treasures filled out the form? They said that they registered as well. In the okay. They're saying right. a form. There's like, there's at least 300 in this box. Some with sleeves, some that don't, some shinies inside and outside. I just don't know this stuff well enough yet. All I know is I got excited because I was at Pirate's Auction when he had some lot up for like $10,000. And then when I was cleaning out the house and that in the kid's bedroom underneath the bed, there was this box of these. Thank you, Jim. We appreciate it. Yeah, you don't have to be, you don't have to have a YouTube name. You just need to fill out the information so that we have your e e yeah, email Jim address, Coleman. your, no, somebody else. Oh, a different one. Um, oh, Jim Episal. He yeah. owns a store in Barnegat, New Jersey. He's a friend of mine. Okay. I know. Um, and yeah, the address line, just put everything on the one line until we correct that for city, state, and zip code. Just make sure you put it all on the one line. I like the sparkly cards.
All right, we're gonna go once to Todd. And we're gonna go twice now. They're motion censored. So if you don't move around, they, don't, okay. they turn off. All right, Jim, no problem. You can shoot us an email. We'll drop the email address in the chat. No yeah. worries. I mean, I, I, we've got a, a, a pretty decent person in the room to vouch for you. Yeah. <laughs> he knows where he says he knows where you live or at least where you work. <laughs> I bought my casino collection from him. Ah, got it. He has a store called Unshredded Nostalgia in Barnegat, New Jersey. Nice. All right. We're sold to Todd for $125. Congratulations, Todd. Congratulations. There's something great in there, please. I'll let you know. If you guys want toys, sports cards, clothing, um, here, I'll do a sports card lot just to get it out of the way. Cody kind of put it together. Don't know what's in it. Nice. No, we had our we had our Bob uh, Marathon auction, Julie. This is kind of it for the marathons for the year, to be honest with you. Okay. I'm gonna quiet it down for the last two weeks of the year and restock and, and I've got a few Number items I've got to get together for you guys. There's this NHL hockey cards, like playing cards. Does all the different players. Oh. Are these unopened packs, Cody? Centennial Olympic Games cards. Special insert cards. Ooh, should we open these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right, this is lot number sixteen. We're gonna start this out at what's it cost to ship one of these? Ooh, it's like eighteen dollars. Eight, twenty dollars. Twenty dollars right? ship okay. to start. What's the brand on those? Somebody's asking. These? Yes. Um Uh, no worries, Carla. It's all good, honey. Let's open a pack and find You're out. You're good. Here. Is that what I'm open? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, sorry. Buys a lot, but we're... Here, open a pack so we can figure out who they are. Mama G, are. you're breaking up, honey. I can't hear you, babe. Look, it has a coin. It's a hog type thing, number 19 or 20. Atlanta. So 1992. It says Atlanta 1996. Mama G, I can't hear you, honey. Centennial Games Collection. So yes, like Todd, we actually appreciate that. Yes, absolutely. If you want to wait, we're okay as long as you keep track and you want to send one email with everything you won for the weekend because we're here tomorrow from 12 to 6 on, um, on Brian's channel. So if you want to wait to everything you buy today and tomorrow and send one email like I won lots you know, 12, 15, 18, and 30, we're good. You're good like that. One members email is only. just fine. This one's tops, stadium club, members only 50 card set of hockey. So yeah, there's all those packs of cards. Here's some, this looks like non-sports cards. This is a, a little set of non-sports cards. All right, Brian's going to start us off at 20. So this is, looks like it's going to be a nice mixed lot because look at these. These are like Family ties. So these are some kind of more non sports. Top cow trading cards from. She's Africa. good, Chandra. Thank you, honey. But thank you for helping out, and we appreciate you guys coming in so much. Thank you. So there's a bunch of non sports right here on the top, but then it looks like it gets into sports again. Dawn, if you can't remember the number or description, we'll do fine. Future Olympic. So this one's Upper Deck Olympics. Then you have the non-sports cards. That's what happens when I tell Cody to get me sports cards. Right? <laughs> we should have told them to count them. These are all Olympics. These are all Stadium Club Olympics. Okay, let's see. Top Cow, Witchblade. The darkness. Yeah, no, they're not sports cards. Yeah. 
But we don't like Cody do many things around here. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's those. Okay, then we're into football. Here we go. John Elway, Darren Woodson. Okay, then we're getting into actual sports. Ben Coates, this is a see through card. Kevin Carter. So there you go. It looks like we're through all the Bunko stuff. Bernie Permill, Warren Moon, Barry Sanders, not much shiny. All rookie team, Pete Mitchell, Steve Atwater. So here's a whole bunch of like Brett Favre, chromium looking cards, 49ers, Andre Risen. Sean Salam. I like him. Deion Sanders. These are all shiny. These are pretty. Warren Moon, that one's embossed. Purdy. Get it right. Purdy. Troy <laughs> Aikman. Back in the day. Look at this. Some kind of weird. Pinnacle. Yeah, this Maybe is for a hologram for or something? Card, not the actual card. Aaron Zeiser. Another one of those. And then these are Pinnacle Zenith cards. Andre Reed. Well, it looks like there's players I know. John Elway, which is a good thing. Like Kyle comes in at 21. Um, T, can you hear me now? Now I can, yes. Okay, thank you. What it's happened, Mama G, um, that you said to me before? I didn't hear it. I'm sorry. I was just going to tell them what their lot numbers were, but I put it in the chat. I'm sorry. Okay. I had no, StreamYard okay. flipped me to a different they made volume setting. Number one okay. Number 191. No Some kind of a, like an embossed Frank Thomas card. Kurt Schilling. See-through with shiny. Top's finest. So like refractor. Or football. Lots of Drew Bledsoe, Brett Favre, Drew Bledsoe. Brian's Those in at 30. Troy Aikman. Those are all those non-sports cards. Okay. Yeah, that's what all these are right here. Okay. This is the some centennial more, stuff. Some more Olympics. So there's a bunch of unopened packs of those Olympic cards. Oh, here's a here's a phone card. Remember back when you had phone cards? <laughs> There's a die cut card. Frank Sanders. So there's about 3,000 cards in this box. Uh, the top. Sandal Array's in a 35 now. Let's say that Vinny Testaverde, Joey Galloway. Lots of insert cards and shiny cards. Please. You don't have to get any more. No, okay. No. I didn't know if you wanted to. Let them all have a nice surprise. All right, so it'll be a surprise. The rest the will be a mystery. The whole bottom of the box is, is a mystery. And the whole bottom of the box looks like it's all sports. Yeah, that's one. Yeah. Yeah. So then there's like die cut right here. Jerome Betis, I don't know who he is. Chandra comes in at 50, Sandal Array at 55. Jim Kelly, I know who he is. So there's acetate cards. 65 from Anthony Bluegrass Picker. Foil cards. And like I said, there's about 3,000 cards in this box. It seems to be about how many you can fit in one of these if you stack them. Double stacked. Um, out of that 3,000, let's say 600 of them are non-sports non -sports. or packs of Olympics. Which who knows? The non-sports could be... Yeah, it could be just as good. It takes too long for me to learn this stuff. So this is a Young Guns... This is a sealed pack, like a little sealed set of Young Guns Chromium. Like cards there. Like this. Here's some inside of sleeves. Peter Forsberg, Ron Hextall, another Ron Hextall. Hidden Gems, Ron Hextall. Look, they had somebody had $8 on that. Ron Hextall. 
don't know why they Michael Johnson. Another Ron Hex call they had ten dollars on that one. Sandal array in for one ten. Woohoo! We're in the Club. Benjamin. Mario Lemieux. Chandra with the Benjamin. Ray Baroque. Thought we had Sandal array. Oh, Chandra got it in before. <laughs> Peter Forsberg, number seventeen thirty seven at twenty five hundred. One twenty five now from Sandala. <laughs> That's all right, Carla. No problem. John LeClaire. Two dollar increments till we get to fifty. Five dollar increments, fifty to a hundred. Ten dollar increments when we're over a hundred. He's got some kind of coin inside of it, like a sky mint coin. We have five dollars on this. We get to a thousand. It's fifty dollar increments. <laughs> Pam just took a double take of tea. <laughs> <laughs> He's optimistic. I'm always optimistic. And all the signed mantle I bought this week might come in handy for that. Oh, you bought something this week? I did. A few things. <laughs> Just a few things. You're trying to keep yeah, the end. Ray's Holy. not at 125 now. He's still going to be at 110. Okay. Because he did not have a $10 bid against him. Thank you. Okay. All right. All right. So Sandal Array in at 110. 120 would be the next bid if someone wants to come in for 120. This is probably a set of these, including the acetate cards. 120 is the next bid if anyone wants to come in. These are on. Unopened packs of whatever Olympics that is. About 3,000 cards in here. Yes, there are basketball. I didn't see any basketball. I did. Oh, did you? Yep. Okay. I mean, not a lot, but I did see. She said she saw some basketball. Yes, I didn't sir. didn't see basketball. Right. I don't know if it's going to fit in here. Cody handed me extra stuff afterward. He said he handed me extra stuff afterward and we fit in that box. So you get all that. Some non-sports, some hot lots of hockey, lots of football for sure, lots of football. Lots of people I've heard of, so at least we know there's good players. We're looking for 120, and this is so. This is uh, including shipping. Yep. It will fill a medium flat rate box. All right, Carla is out. All right, we're going to call it then to San Dollar Ray at 110. Going once now. Kyle Elliott's going to come in for 120. I bought out a comic and card shop years ago, and then I bought a storage unit full of sports cards. I really haven't looked through much of any of it. 130 from San Dollar Ray. We'll, we'll put them in another lot later. Yeah, if it's non sports, just send it to the side. Just if you're making boxes like this out of the 5,000 count boxes, okay. or bring me a 5,000 count box or one of those boxes with the long lines. Mm -hmm. Just make sure the cards aren't all stuck together because over time they, they stick like the newer stuff. Ray's in at 130, looking for 140 now. Let us know, in or out. Does help us move quicker. If you guys do, let us know. We're trying to clear off tables and areas. 140 from Kyle now. We have about 3 million sports cards at the other warehouse. Sandal Array is out. Kyle's in at 140. We're going to count it down to Kyle going once.
All right. Thank you guys for typing out. We always appreciate it. This way we know we don't have to wait. And we're going to go twice now. And we're going to sell this to Kyle for 140 Fair warning. And ladies and gentlemen, we're sold to Kyle. Congratulations for one hundred and forty dollars. Not bad for three thousand cards. Not bad at all. I like three cents a card, four cents a card, something like that. Yeah. Oh, you need the sticker. Okay, so let's do a couple concert T-shirts, guys. Concert T-shirts. Okay, first one up is a jerseys label um this is tell me a size this is an extra large this is an oar summer of 2006 or 2009 nine 2009 oar local crew shirt so like when you went and helped them set up you got crew shirts so this wasn't one that you like bought at the concert this was one that if you were part of the crew and the roadies and the band members, you could get one of the local crew shirts. $10 start, no reserves. That is shipped, which is less than I paid. This is a double stitch because it's 2009. But OAR is the band. I think the back is just plain, it's a plain black back on this one. Brian's going to come in at 15. Okay. And there's the symbol. So this is the 2009 summer tour for OAR local crew. So you had to be a crew member to get one of these shirts. Or be somebody like me who bought a big group of them. Great band, says Chris the Goose. I don't think I have. OAR? Yeah. Be more in your yours and Chris's time. Well, you know, you're a little older than Chris. Not much. I'm not that much older Chris, actually. 43. Yeah, she's 36. You're kind of that age group, though. Yeah. All right. Any other interest? If not, we're going to go once to Brian at 15. Extra large jerseys label concert shirt. Road crew. These are really hard to get. 17 now from Kenneth. Thank you, Kenneth. 20 now from Brian. And I have not offered these anywhere else. I told you guys I'd bring them here first. What we're doing. Kenneth now at 22. 25 from Brian. And it does, it, um, it almost, it's unwashed. Yeah, it's Whether unwashed. or not it's unworn, I don't know, but it's I definitely it's unwashed. Like, yeah, because it still even has its little, yeah, it's a little taggy, taggy thingy. All right, Kenneth's going to be out. Thank you, Kenneth. Brian's at 25, and we're going to go once. If you ever get ska band stuff, stay tuned, Chandra. You never know what we have. You never know. What's ska band? <laughs> Not like reggae? It's like ska? Yeah. All right, out. We're going to go once. Todd's like, yeah, ska. Awesome. You don't wait until Dave gets here and we'll order. He's here. Okay. All right, sold to Brian. My money's in the front of the car. For 25. Congratulations, Brian. Okay. <laughs> right. So let's see. Oh. Okay, this one is House of Blues. Tom, it is live. So this might have just been from them. I don't know if this one's. Oh, here. House of Blues, Las Vegas. 
This is a little bit older than the other one. This is a medium, but it's just a House of Blues shirt from Vegas. This is lot number 18, $10 ship to start. So let's do choice. Just to maybe move them a little faster there. This is choice, guys. Choice. So you have the House of Blues, Las Vegas. English Beats a great band. And then we have this is a Pacific Large. Um, I don't know who that is. Hmm. Does it look? Oh, it's the, so it's the anti tour. Um, is it Rihanna? Could be Rihanna. I'm not. I'm not, it's not my genre of music. So it's the anti tour, and I'm not sure if it's Rihanna or who that was. This one's not real old though. It's Pacific, so this is probably 2016. Yeah. Boy. Yeah. Yeah, 16. Oh, it does say Rihanna, doesn't it? No, it says Verge Trade or something like that. G, can you explain can you choice, please? Yes. So it's whatever the bid is, you can choose which one you want. Yep. Now, of course, you could get both, but you pay the same amount. So if we get a Bidding up to 25, you get one shirt for 25. However, you can purchase the other shirt for 25 as well for a total yep. of 50. So this is a choice. Yep. So you can choose the tan or black. Right. House of Blues is going to be lot 18, Mama G. Lot 19 is going to be Rihanna. Or whoever the anti tour is. Who was it then? He said it's Rihanna. Yeah. Yep, singer Rihanna. 2015 was when the tour started. So very cool. I don't think, I mean, they're both in amazing condition. This one's probably 90s ish, and then this one's 2015, 2016. All right, and we have Brian in a 10. Any other interest? Looking for 12. And then you can choose which one you want. You kept calling her Beyonce. 12 from Kenneth Roseberry. Uh, in, the, in my old video. In the video. Yeah. <laughs> it is what it is. 15 from Brian. They all turned down my date invitations, so it doesn't mm -hmm. matter then. <clears throat> Kenneth, it's 17. So we're at 17 on choice of the two shirts. Carla, please, we, we want you to ask questions. We don't want anybody not knowing what's going on. Hey, Scott, why did you lose your wrench, Scott? Are you subscribed? Hi, Scott. You would need to subscribe to the channel, Scott McFarlane. <laughs> I think Scott buys a bunch of video games from me. Yeah. Brian's in a 20. Scott, you want to do 22? And the back says anti on it in big white letters. Rihanna anti-tour. Kenneth's in a 22 now. On choice of the two shirts. 25 from Brian. Okay. He's letting me know he's got an answer. No, I, I gave it back to you, Scott. Sometimes that happens. Either that or it's YouTube. They like to play games like we had to change our stream today. 30 from Kenneth. 30 on choice of the House of Blues, Las Vegas, or Rihanna. 35 from Brian. And the shirts that are in the boxes that I'm pulling them out of aren't in the boxes in any specific order. So, hey, Ronnie G. Hi, honey. Never know what's. Thanks coming for coming out. in. 37 from Kenneth. Yes, Talbert's mom. 40 from Brian.
Hey, Snapper. 45 from Kenneth. been on choice anybody who just happened to come in right in case you're new coming in here it's choice brian says he's out we're going to call it down to ken at 45 can you let us know which one you want or well, you're certainly welcome to purchase both of them what size is the rihanna rihanna is i believe on we're going to check for you, Carla. Rihanna is a large. All right. We're going to go twice to Ken now. There's a super hot market if you get the right shirts. And with a fair warning, we're going to call it to Ken at 45. Ken, just type in the, hat, the chat House of Blues or Rihanna or both. All right. He wants Rihanna. All right. So, Kenneth, that's actually going to be lot number 19, just the way I have it set up. And then $45. We're going to first offer it up to Brian if you want the House of Blues. You'll be first choice on that since you were the second bidder on the shirts. So, Brian, if you'd like that for $45, let us know. What do you think, that? Would you say pass? Yeah. Okay, Brian. All right. We're going to put the House of Blues up for the rest of you guys. If anybody wants this for 45, just type 45 in the chat and it's yours. Or we're going to do something more fun. I'm going to add another shirt to it and you guys can start the bidding at 10 bucks again. Let's do that. All right. Okay. All right, Mama G, we're going to just put pass in the chat on the, the House of Blues, and we're going to start off. So it'll still be lot number 18 for the House of Blues, but we're gonna. it's going to be two shirts. The second shirt is going to be this one. Special thanks to the local crew from Tina Turner and Haynes Hosiery. So obviously this is going to be a Haynes beefy tee. It's never been worn. It's an extra large. And you can see this was a crew-only shirt. This was a gift to them for helping. So it's, re, uh, it's Tina Turner, and the side arm hit is right there. This one is going to be now together. Yep, you get both shirts at one time. So the Tina Turner Wildest Dreams Tour. This one, Brian, is going to be both of them. Yep, you get both. That way we're not... And what do we want to start? Brian's in at 20. We're good. There you go. Good enough. Anything on the back of the Tina shirt? I don't think so. We don't believe so, but we'll double check for you guys. I just know there's stuff on the sleeve. Nope. Nothing on the back. Just on the arm and on the above the chest area. This one has some some spots. I can see a little spot here and there from sitting. But I don't think it was ever worn because it's still got a, a hang tag up there. And it feels unwashed. Yep. So there's your two things. <laughs> All right, Kenneth comes in at 22, Brian now at 25. Tina Turner, it's awesome. Why well, we're switching it now? No, but we have them we're both wrote down. We had one is, I had this one is 18 and that one is 19. Right, on the choice. Oh, that's what he's still telling me. Yeah, no. 
I'm confused. <laughs> we, shouldn't, we shouldn't do it twice. Okay. I got you. I yeah. Got you. YouTube is demon possessed today. It is. All right. Brian's in at 25. Any other interest? Ken, let us know if you're still in. You get both shirts. You get it's both shirts choice. on this one. Not choice. 30 from Ken. Brian's in at 35. I know Elizabeth is crazy. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. All right. Brian's in at 35. Looking for 37 now. Ken, let us know. All right, Ken, it's going to be out. We're going to call it down to Brian going once. You're right, Ronnie. It does <laughs> for sure. And going twice now. And with a fair warning... We're going to be sold for $35 to Brian. That was an awesome buy. Two shirts for 35 bucks. Crew only. Okay. Do another little lot of Pokemons. Lot number 21, Pokemon. You guys, what it is? It's probably about three hundred cards again, maybe a little more. Wait a minute. Yeah. T. That's not twenty one. Oh, twenty. Twenty. I'm sorry. Twenty. Yes, twenty. Twenty. My bad. Thank you. Thank you, Mom G. See, you keep me in line. <laughs> oh, there's a big stack of cards. This one's got shiny on around the picture. Right, you got one of those. These are all out of the same place as the other Pokemon cards. Here's a Buzzwool something another. It's got a shiny inside. There you go. Scare me. All right, Brian's going to start us out at tw at 50. 50. Um, uh, Mama G. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mama G wanted to start this one at 250. Nice. All right, Mama G. <laughs> Two fifty. I'm just gonna put the whole box up here. <laughs> right. Sorry. <laughs> no, we're teaching you, baby. All good. All right, Bye. Brian's in at fifty. No worries. Thank you, Brian. Mr. Mime. There's a Pikachu. There's a frost moth. So here's a frost moth, and it's shiny on the inside of the picture. And this one's not shiny on the inside of the picture, but it's shiny all around the whole card. 75 from Sandala Ray now. Found the same thing. One is shiny inside the picture, one is shiny outside the picture. So I don't know if that's what you look for. Yamper. This one's plain. This one is shiny on the outside. And that's a different image, but shiny on the outside. And then different image there. Here's a Blissey. That one's shiny on the inside. This one doesn't have very many energies. I've only seen a couple now. Are they all the same year as Todd's asking? Um, well, that one says 2015. This one says 2018. So now this one says 2009. No, they're all mixed years. Yeah, here's a 99. Yeah, so there's a 90. She has a 99 over there. This one's 2010. This one's 95. Shiny on there. That one's 2004. Yeah, it's a mix. 
No, not no, which one do I show them? <laughs> Here's some that are shiny. That one's got a crease in it. Right? So that's the first card I've seen with damage. Uh, this one's also creased. So there's two cards that are damaged. It seems like there's quite a few that have shininess to them. There's another one that's shiny. I have a bunch of these upside down. Scare me. These are shiny. That's Andrew shiny. Storms, how are you? This Andrew comes shiny. in for 85. There's quite a few shiny ones. I see shiny ones in what you got? Couple. There's going to be about 300 Pokemon in this yeah, lot. That. Shiny on the outside of the picture. Somebody should tell us what the difference is. Oh, shiny on the outside. There's some energies. Nobody cares about energy. This one's shiny on the outside. It's a reverse hot halo. Okay, reverse hot. So the halo. one with the with the picture inside so is a halo. Inside is a hologram. The other one's a reverse hologram. Okay. Yeah. All right, Ray is out. We're gonna call it to Andrew at eighty five. Going once. I just think it's neat the way they did it. That one's regular. That one's a reverse hologram. That one's reverse hologram. That one's a hologram. I saw something else shiny that's a reverse hologram. Todd, $5 increments, honey. We need 90. Thank you. A few in sleeves. Ninety would be the next bid. Andrew's in at eighty-five. Yep, we're looking for 90. Thank you, Todd. 90 from Todd. 95 is the next bid. Appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. 115 of you here this afternoon. Thank you, guys. All right, Andrew's going to be out. We're going to call it down to Todd going once. And going twice now. And with a fair warning, we're going to sell it to Todd for $90. Congratulations. Okay. They left a pile of posters over here, so let's see what's in these. So this is somebody else. So this is Donnie. Is um, Donnie Wahlberg. Donnie from New Kids. <laughs> Donnie from New Kids on the Block. And there are, I think she said 12 of these. One... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So there's twelve of this poster. Oh no, they're not the same. Ham messed up. Oh, they're not the same. Ham, Ham did a boo, -boo guys. <laughs> Kyle says no. That's Donnie from the hit TV show Wahlburgers. <laughs> so there are eleven. I don't know these new guys. I had no daughters. So there's like 11 said, of Donnie and one of Danny here. Roll out a poster of Marcy. Or... So there's, there's 11 Donnie and one Danny from New Kids on the Block. So 11 Donnie and one Danny. Chandra wants the size real quick. All okay. right. We'll get it. We'll get it. We'll get it. We'll get it. 11. Eleven. Yeah. You sure? No. <laughs> yes. Yeah. No. She's smoking uh, crack right here. Five and a half. 18. <laughs> 18 by 23. And don't forget blue bloods, Kyle. 
23 by 18, 18 by 23, however you want to look at it. And we got 25 from Chandra. So, so we've a got total of 12, 12 total. 11 of Donnie and one of whoever the other guy was. Danny. Danny. Yeah, him. So. If you guys go into Wahlburgers, maybe you can get them to sign it. Welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. Oh, right now it's a different show. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh my god. So there's 11 of Donnie in here and one of Danny. All right. Chandra's in at 25. Kenneth now at 27. Okay, just set them up there. <laughs> Scott, I'm not on a vegan diet. I'm having meat for dinner. <laughs> on, the, on the box. <sighs> and his sidekick, other guy. Thank you. Oh, okay. You know where it's at? Okay. Saxton in for 29. So we got a large pepperoni, uh, order chicken fingers, and then I'll have a plain steak. Just right on <laughs> Two dollar increments, Chandra, looking for thirty one now. I think Cody has the keys somewhere for the car. So they're, they're hey, vintage treasures. What's up, Paul? Front, Something. Like right the Good to see you. Thirty one from Chandra. So eleven posters of Donnie and one of Danny. Saxton now at thirty three. Look, he's even wearing a Donnie belt buckle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just move anybody that... The people on this end are all paid. Those those three orders are paid. So those gotta sh I'll pack those and get them shipped out tonight. <laughs> Carl is like, great. Now like I want pizza and wings. <laughs> well, you gotta you gotta take a trip to the East Coast, Carla, especially where I am on Long Island. Yeah. All right, we're gonna call once to Saxon. Chandra, let us know. 35 to Kenneth. There's a total of 12 posters, but 11 of them are Donnie. 37 from Saxton. Thank you, Glenn. Appreciate it. All right, we're going to go once again. Kenneth is out. <laughs> Thank you, Glenn. Got your registration, hon. You're good. Just keep hanging tough, guys. Going twice now. And with a fair warning, we're going to be sold to Saxton Cole at $37. Congratulations. Okay. Throw something toy related up. This is a model kit from MPC. No, Carla. Once you're registered, honey, you're good. You're good. Yep. For Superman. Uh, 1984, it is still factory sealed. There's a little split in the cello just from age and shrinkage. 
happens with age. And Carla, that will make you registered on my channel, Brian's channel, Donatella Bottolino's channel, and any guests that I have on my channel. So this is an MPC Superpowers Superman model kit sealed. Uh, $20 start ship. $20 start ship. All right, Brian's going to start us off at 20. Happy, healthy, and blessed. We do go in $2 increments. We need 22 as the next bid. We have 20 from Brian. And it is factory sealed. It's got him punching through a wall. 22 from Chandra. Very cool. 24 from Happy, Healthy, Blessed. Factory 29 sealed. from Brian. Model kit from 1984. It's older than my wife. It's the year I graduated high school. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Let's see. I would have been in like third grade. No, oh, shush. That's all right. I keep telling my husband, don't forget <laughs> when he got. Let's see. When he graduated high school, I was in the seventh grade. I think my wife's 11 years younger than me. Yeah, well, he's I'm 10 years younger than him. So, yeah. yeah. Army, Navy, I football game. I graduated when she on. was seven. <laughs> yeah, that's just about right. It's only right. bad back then. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Army, Navy, football game. It's late in the season for the Army, Navy, football game. Used to be on like, like the weekend after Thanksgiving. Hi, Barb. We're doing good. Hey, Barb Lee. All right, we're going to call it to Brian. If there's no other interest going once, it's going to be a steal. It is a steal of twenty nine. Model kit sealed Superman. I don't have any outs, guys. I need help in you guys typing out, please. Yes, guys, please type out if you're no longer interested in bidding. It does help us. Kenneth is in at 32. <laughs> and then next up, I'll do another vintage clothing lot. Oh, you'll have to fill me in later, Santi. All right. Maybe we'll go into some silver coins. How many people we got here? 34. Right? We have 112. 34. Silver coins. Happy and healthy is in at 34. Carla is out. Chandra is out. Brian is out. Thank you, guys. All right. Ken, let us know. It's just with the way the chat, especially today, is acting so funky. And always there's a lag. We just want to make sure that you guys are in or out. Hey, Loot Raider. All right, Kenneth is out. We're going to go once to happy at 34. Let me take the My Little Pony and the map book out of there and then hand me that whole box. Yeah, yeah you can take that out too. Yeah. That way I'll just sell that whole box. Yeah, it's, there. well, I don't know if it's, is it raining? It's misting. kind of misting, like spitting a little bit. It's very overcast and dreary for sure. And with a fair warning, we're going to sell it. Congratulations. First time winner here. Happy, healthy, and blessed. Congratulations. Nice. Bye. All right. Okay, so next up, we're going to do some non sports cards. It's going to be a little heavier to ship, so it's $40 start. So these are like um, baseball and then almost like Ed Roth, Rat Fink kind of looking cards. They're from Leaf. I don't remember what year they are. 
These are unopened packs, though. Do not eat the gum. Do not eat the gum. I repeat, do not eat the gum. So, original display boxes, packs. $40 start, guys. You will get whatever I put on the table. And let's put it this way. It's going to cost me $40 to ship it. It's worse than yellow snow. Trust me, Elizabeth. <laughs> Look, there's five boxes of packs. Yep, so this is all of them that I have. I will open a pack and show you guys what they are. Harold. <laughs> but there's roughly 36 packs per box, and there's five boxes, guys. I repeat, do not eat the gum. <laughs> I can't stress that enough. <laughs> or at least don't complain to us when you do. What was the word? I don't know. But like guys, look. I'm opening up vintage cards. All right, so we are opening one pack. You will get the open pack. We're just doing it to show you guys. I will be throwing the pack of the gum away from the pack because the gum is not juicy fruit, you guys. See, there's the gum. Yeah. Mm. Do not eat the gum. No, don't eat the cards either. True. Beanball Biff. True Kyle. Slowball Scott. Long Arm Lenny. But if you look, they're kind of like Rat Fink, like Ed Roth, kind of weirdos, monsters. Orville the Oozer. Andy, Andy, Four Eyes Fred. Vintage Treasures comes in for 40 And they're a sticker. So it says behind Ben to release sticker. <laughs> Give me made by like... Leaf. I don't know what year they are, guys. But you have four. Uh, Tammy wanted to see the ball code. That's why I did um, it like that. We don't have a year, but here's the barcode, Todd. Glenn comes in at 42. Yeah, they're like garbage pail kids, exactly. 1989. Yep. 44 from Carla. So you're looking at roughly 150 packs. Or 170, 80, 180 packs. 80 packs, yeah. 50 from Vintage Treasures. Fifty five from Kenneth. And all the packs are sealed except for the one I opened. I like the artwork on the packs. We need sixty now, guys. Looking for sixty. Sixty from Carla. Nobody here, D Scott. Of course we are in a warehouse, so I you know, I don't know if you're hearing some kind of electric or there's and they might hear the fan. You might hear the fan. I'm getting rid of the gum itself. Put it in the pack my hand. Here are the cards. No, Heidi, I don't. It's all good. No worries. All right, Glenn says out. So you got all five boxes, guys. All five boxes. 
Vintage treasures, let us know. That is shipped to you. 65 to Kenneth. Seventy is the next bid, guys. Looking for seventy now. Carl is out. Vintage treasures in at seventy. Kenneth, seventy-five is our next bid. Yes, thanks, thanks, Ronnie G, for helping out. 75 from Kenneth. 80 from Vintage Treasures. These have ceased to appear poisonous. <laughs> so glad, Carla. Thank you for joining us today. We appreciate it. We'll be here uh, tomorrow on Brian's channel from 12 noon Eastern to 6 p.m. Eastern. Be sure to subscribe to both channels. I do auctions on my channel. Um, I do them in conjunction also with Donatella Bottolino. Our descriptions are in the uh, body of this video, so please feel free to subscribe and join. With the holidays coming near and the year winding down, we will be doing a little less auctions over the next couple of weeks, but most of the time you'll see us almost every day. Brian's doing daily auctions Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. So make sure you subscribe to Brian and you come over to his channel. Uh, 3 p.m. Carla Donatella is actually going to be joining us tomorrow. So we're going to actually, the three of us will be on tomorrow. So Brian and Donna will be showing tomorrow. T didn't come with anything to Pennsylvania. She's taking the weekend off from selling. <laughs> it's all right. When I get back, I'm going to ship everybody who's paid out on Monday. And uh, we'll see what happens on Tuesday. Not sure yet what next week looks like. I'm loading. Yeah. 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 T's got a little bit of work next week. All right. Vintage Treasure with the Benjamin. Woohoo! Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you, Paul. Kenneth is going to be out. All right. We're going to call it to Paul going once. Oh, Heidi, I'm so happy. Good to know. All right, going twice now. And with a fair warning, we're going to be sold to Vintage Treasures. Thank you, Paul. Congratulations. Ronnie G, thank you for helping, sweetheart. Appreciate it. So, you guys, we're going to do a couple of coins. First is a 1964 half dollar. 1964 Kennedy half dollars. This is silver. Here is a 1943 Walking Liberty half dollar. Also silver. Uh, $10 start. $10 start on the coins. And then the third coin is a 1901 Morgan dollar. Mm, looks clean. No, it's, it's got some. Does it? Things and scratches oh, up yeah, there. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. And then on this side, it looks like it looks like somebody clamped it. Oh wow. That was something. Oh yeah. The, there's an indent right here. If they clamped it. Twenty five from Ronnie G. But Thirty is, now from Treasure Hustlers. It is silver also. So all three of them are silver. Thirty five from Ronnie. And this one's 1901. And somebody's gonna ask me about a mint mark. I don't know where to look. Oh well. Look. This one's an O. Okay. New Orleans. New Orleans. It's a 1901 O. It's all done. It's for all three. No all choice three, here. Yeah. It's all three. All three coins. All three are silver. And we have Ronnie G in for 35.
Kev, okay, do you have a little baggie? I have a little bit more. You're going to have to start showing Cody where to put stuff. All right, high bid is Ronnie. The treasure hustlers are out. Any other interest? We're going to go ones to Ronnie G. 37 from Don. Don't do that. <laughs> 40 now from Ronnie G. It's half Cody to reach it. He could have got it. Hey, Zygon Tiger. Yes, sir. Of course. Welcome in. That's because I knew they were leaning on the cart. All right, Dawn is out. We're going to go once to Ronnie at 40. Hey, Wes. 42 now from Zygon Tiger. All right, we're going to go once to Zygon Tiger at 42. Ronnie is out. We're going to go twice now. And Vintage Treasures is going to come in at 44. Forty six now from Zygon Tiger. Forty eight now from Vintage Treasures. Fifty now from Zygon. Vintage Treasures is out. We're gonna call it for fifty. Going once. Going twice now. Wait a minute. Okay. I have Ronnie G at fifty before Zygon comes in. Oh, I didn't see the back end at fifty. Thank you, Mama G. I'm sorry. You're welcome. Did not see Ronnie back in. Ronnie, fifty dollars to Ronnie. Zygon, we need fifty-five, honey. All right, Zygon Tiger is going to be out. We're going to call it to Ronnie G at 50. Going once. <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> Going twice now. And with a fair warning, we are going to sell it to Ronnie G for $50. Congratulations, Ronnie. I'm wrapping them in paper. Just to keep them from knocking around. You can even put this in the bag. Yep. Right now, so it doesn't get lost. Okay. Our form people aren't here yet, right? No, I haven't seen any of this one we already did. No, uh -uh. okay. Okay, so we have another group of posters Pam just handed me. Do we know how many there are? 
three, four, five. Sorry, guys. Six, seven, eight. So there's eight of these posters. So these are different. Obviously, new kids on the block again, I think. Uh, no? Is this somebody different? It's back. Uh, yeah, well, I'm just trying to get the glare. They're probably the same size, though. Uh, 23, 23 by 18 or 18. 17? Yeah, 18. 23, 17 or 23, 18. New kids or Backstreet Boys, Mama G? That is not Backstreet Boys. I think it's New Kids. Okay. I. This was like definitely not my genre, and I didn't have girls. I had boys, so they were not looking at this, though. <laughs> yeah, that is definitely not Backstreet Boys. Okay. Mama G's like, I know Backstreet Boys. I've still got my fan club membership. <laughs> I so do. Oh, my it God. Is new kids. All right, it is new kids. Okay. We were pretty sure. <laughs> so there's eight of these. They're all in really nice, minty condition. They're old stock. You don't get the placeholder. <laughs> Just buying the posters. There's eight in total. Oh, Wonder Woman said the first concert she ever went to. <laughs> John Chandra's like, oh, hell, I'm sucked right back in now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, compadre Martinez, how are you, Oscar? It's great to see you. Long time no see. Thank you for joining. Massage, yeah. I mean, you know, eight of them. Huh? All right, Tony's gonna start us off at 10. That's the whole crew 25 now to Chandra, including Marky. Mark Marky Mark. Walker. Oh, oh, he was in Backstreet Boys. Uh -huh. ah. no, and New Kids in the Black. Oh, New Kids, New Kids, New Kids, Ronnie New Kids. And Mark New Kids right. See, I, I, this is like you know, like I said, this, or this really is not like my a, genre. If you want to skip past that, you got a Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch, <laughs> and then you got a Dreamy Mark. Oh God, the actor. Oh God. <laughs> yes, Saigon Tiger, we do. Maybe tomorrow. What? Cramps posters. Yeah, I think so. And we'll see how far we get. We're just trying to clear up the front. And then after we finish up the front, we're going to be moving into awesome sauce stuff. All right. Any other bids? We're going to go once to Chandra at 25. Michael Whalen says, Donnie Wahlberg is good in Blue Blood. So, oh, okay. Yep. So these guys have become actors. All right. Well, they couldn't stay singers. <laughs> God knows. 30 from Kenneth. Donnie, Danny, Jordan, and Joey. Tony. <laughs> Tony knows. And Marky. And Marky. You forgot Marky. I thought they had a, another person in there called Benny or something like that. If not, that's like Menudo had a. Uh, real famous guy came from Menudo. Oh, yeah. Ricky Martin. Ricky Martin. Ricky Martin. That I know. So famous, I almost forgot his name. All right. Any other bids? Chandra, let us know. Kenneth's in at 30. We need a $32 bid or an out so we can move on. Yeah, it's a cool group photo, though. A group poster. All right. Going twice now. Thank you, Chandra. And with a fair warning, we're going to sell this to Ken.
That's right, Scotty. That's right. Thirty dollars to Ken. We're sold. Thank you, Kenneth. Sold, sold, sold. Okay. Have another vintage clothing lot. Let T show that to you while I'm grabbing. Absolutely. Grabbing the Mickey Mouse charger. The Mickey Mouse charger. Even though Wade's Ventures is not here and Wade was like, oh, I want that for my wife. <laughs> All right. Yes. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, Let's see if we have any tags on this one. No. Nope. We do have the. AFL CII women's garment label in here, the union label. Um, looks to be in really nice vintage condition. Buttons, zippers, all good. On this, it's got a nice kind of almost a column motif, almost like a Greek motif. It's pleated. And if I was to guess, it's a small, especially in today's world. Definitely a small. It does have belt hooks. Next one is it's a nice pink and black. Cute little print. Cute little print, for sure. This is a dress, actually. Well, for some reason it was a skirt, but it is a button dress. However, there are no buttons. There are button holes, but no buttons. Some of the stuff even just for the material, though, or you can replace the buttons. Don't see a size on this one. Again, based on the waist, probably no larger than a medium on this one. Three-quarter length with, with a possible hemmed bottom. This looks to be, do you have a tag on this one? Oops, sorry. Do so have a tag on this one, and this one is marked Young Viewpoint, New York. And that one has a hang tag. It does have a hang tag, so it will tell us what it says. Shop 112 with the number 1940s black silk dress with draped. draped neck sash, size medium. Yeah. And this oh, one like is... Nifty does have zipper zipper sides as well. It's pretty cool, and it does have the availability for belt with belt loops. Probably again about knee length on this. Really cool. Comes all the way down here, and we have borderline hoarderish in for twenty. Thank you, Kimberly. I think we're missing the garden today. I know. Kelly's not in. Kelly wasn't feeling well yesterday. She did come into coffee this morning. I hope she's doing better. She said this morning she felt better. And this is a nice pink 50s for sure on this style. Maybe 60s. This one is lined. It's got a nice lining inside. I think we lost Katie and Vicky. We lost the, got the bow. Zip it back. And again, if I was to guess on a size for this, you're probably looking at an 8, maybe a 10. Of course, sizes back then were a little small. I wouldn't be surprised if they even called that a 12. But in today's, got the darts. Today's world of McDonald's. Yeah. Today's world of fast food and McDonald's. Um, plenty of room to adjust the sleeves if necessary, and the hem as well. Extra material for sure. All right, so that's what you get. This is a nice pink. I don't know how well it's showing up on there, but it is a rose, I should say, closer to a rose. And 
Kimberly is in at 20. Is there any other interest in this? We've got one. We've got two. And other than some wrinkles, I don't see a lot of um, defects in any of these. This one is the only one with the buttons, but buttons, you can replace those so easy. This is material even if you didn't want to replace the buttons, but this is it's a nice... but you could replace the buttons. That's three and four. And again, on this skirt, this skirt has a really nice kind of blue, what looks to be like a column print. And there's just some extra strings and stuff. Really don't see any major wear on any of these. Um, and this again, like I said, is probably a small, I mean, in today's world, it's probably a three, four, um, if that, those days it was probably an eight. <laughs> Zip it back with a button, all intact, and the loop for the belt. All right. We're going twice to Kimberly now. No other interest? All right. We're going to sell it to Borderline Hoarderish at $20. Up, oh, Kelly I the Garden it. comes in for 22. <laughs> She's in before that. Yes, she is. Sniper snipes in there. <laughs> Mama, do you have this as 26? No, I have it as 25. That's what I thought. Did I miss 25 someplace? Maybe I this must be me counting today. This is lot number 25, and I will send the email when I'm done, okay? I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Kimberly comes back in at 24. Kelly's back in at 26. Kimberly now at 30. All right, Kelly, let us know. We have Kimberly in at 30. And Kelly says, out to Kimmy. We're going to call it down once. Going twice now. And with a fair warning, we are going to sell it to Kimberly for $30. Congratulations, Kim. All right, we're going to do some new with tags clothes. Sports clothes. 2017 NBA Championship Strength in Numbers. Yeah, these are from the, the Nike deal. The Nike deal. NBA. This is the go to T large Adidas. Adidas. This is genuine Major League. St. Louis Cardinals. Cardinals. That's majestic. Majestic on the bottom. And that one is a size extra large. Large. This is miter. It's a soccer shirt. It's made out of that nice. Filling material. I like the way this stuff goes. It buys. And there's two of those. One in a size medium. Actually, both are a size medium. Easy list. Quantity two. Oh, it tags. Cincinnati Bengals. NFL. Team Apparel 2X on this one. All with tags. You got Dalton on the back, number 14. Another soccer shirt. 
USA. This is the nice, it feels dry fit. Feels like a dry fit. It is a large, not, but it feels like it. Stacker on that one. It reminds me of, um, I can't think of the Savage. All right, this is called the Young and Wild. This is a 3XL. 3XL on this. But the design on that is from some other like major brand. I can't Savage, it, it says. On Milwaukee it. Brewers. And this is a 3XL. Did Milwaukee anybody give me a start price? 20 bucks. Thank you. Oh, we, I would have gone with yours, Mama G. It's fine. Yeah, whatever. We're good. Yeah, whatever she gives. So you got Milwaukee Brewers and 3XL. And then last but not least in the slot is In Memory of My Enemies. Chris Laws in a 20. Pink. This is Get Fame Us by Ruby Villa. And this is a large. There's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sorry, it bothers me. Okay, we we have to have another one. <laughs> what lot number are you on? Uh, twenty six. She's on twenty six as well. Right. Yeah. He's on twenty six as well. Yeah, she's on twenty seven. Who is? I am on twenty six. No, she's on twenty six. We're all good. We're all on the same page. I'm, so. <laughs> I'm, well, I'm the one who's right, so don't worry about it, and I'll send you the email. Okay. Okay. <laughs> We're good. What are you, 27 or 26? 26. 26. So, two, uh, so this is a 2XL. This is a Nike jersey. Brand new. 2XL. So now there's 10 total pieces. All right, Connie's in at 38. Chris Law in at 40. All right, Connie's out. Chris Law's at 40. Carla, 42. Chandra's in at 42. Chris Law is at 44. It might be from back at the lot 18 and 19. The Rihanna shirt and the other one. And then we added the other shirt. Maybe, back. maybe, maybe. Like I said, it could be from back then when we... Did the Rihanna shirt and the. No, he has 18 and 19 foot on the paper, but it's still counted at all. Make that. sure 20 is in there because I missed 20 earlier. But he has 20 on the paper. All right. Yeah. All right, Chandra is out. We got Chris Live 44. We're going to go once. Carla, are you in or out? Let us know. You have all the old posters. See, if you look in the private chat, I just put all of the lots there. Okay. What's the tag on the Savage T, please? Okay, we're going to check that. It's uh, Young and Wild. So Young and Wild. All right. Four 
Oh, never mind. They got it. <laughs> what is four? Four mixed lot of comics and then four mixed lot of Johnny Lightning. He has a double on here. Oh. <laughs> so no, no worries. We got it. Okay. Hey, Jabby's Treasure. Thanks for coming in. Miter soccer shirts. All right, and we're going to call it. Yes. We're going to sell it. Sold to Chris La for $44. All right. Okay. Okay. We're going to do some more concert tees. Okay, first up. ZZ Top, 2002 Tower Top Tours, Dusty Willie Beards, Beardless. And that's M and M O. M knits. knits, heavyweight. Extra large size. Extra large. Clean for white, for sure. Yep. That's just the length or something. Some piece of cardboard. <laughs> Yeah, very clean. Unwashed. Never say unworn, but it's definitely unwashed. 2002. And we're going to start this off at $10 shipped. CZ Top. $10 shipped to start. 15 from Brian. Seventeen from Connie. Brian's in a twenty-two. Oh gosh. <laughs> All right, we have 22 in for Brian, looking for 24 now. ZZ Top, 2002. Okay. Kenneth Roseberry in for 24. Maybe you guys were at the same concert in 1977. Brian's in at 26. Thirty now from Chandra. Not all of them. Well, <laughs> it's not how it's You definitely don't look like Ray J. <laughs> is this from One Night in Paris? Corn, why is there something flying around the hand here? You want to use some of them? Take one like this. She does more than two. Okay, Tony. Um,
sold. Congrats, Brian. For 32? 32. Wow. Nice deal. Nice deal, Brian. Okay. Maybe I can go to eight. And check them here at your five. We have salad. I want salad. No salad? Okay. I'm good. I'm okay. good. Thank you. Okay, this is local crew. This is awesome. This is a vintage Giants tag with the Giant right there. It's an extra large, unworn, unwashed. This is local crew only for the Counting Crows. For Counting Crows, local crew. There's nothing on the back, just black, but XL on a Giant label. Oh, that's not true, Brian. 25 to start us off is Brian. Pretty awesome. This is a crew shirt, so you must be part of the roadies or management staff or handlers to get one of these but for the Counting Crows. Extra large. Never washed. Clean. 30 from Chandra. Oh, is that what happened? Thirty seven now from Chandra. Forty from Brian. Brian's in at 40, looking for 42 now. Chandra, let us know. 42 is the next bid. Okay, I hope you're not serious, Chandra. Hope all is well. I have a son with epilepsy. That's not fun. All right. We're going to call it. We're going to go once to Brian at 40. Going twice now. And with a fair warning, we're sold to Brian for $40. Congratulations, Brian. Do this. Okay. Yeah. Pam brought this out. I'm just going to show you guys this much of it. It's NYPD Police Department. I think that's enough for showing them. <laughs> no. <It's very laughs> you better show them the whole poster. Oh. It is Paris Hilton. There are two of these. There we go. Paris Hilton. This might have even been before Ray J. Barry Humstone, what's up? So ten dollar start for the pair. Get two of them, Paris guys. Hilton. Thirty-six. Thirty-six inches. So three feet of Paris Hilton. My two feet. That's three feet by two feet. Paris Hilton. 
says Paris Hilton up on the top right there. City in New York, NYPD. Ten dollars start. No, D. Scott, it's not. It's Harold. What is he trying to figure out how to do one <laughs> night in Paris too? He's trying to spend a night in Paris. He's like, you get a pair, huh? Yep. Get two of them. Sandwich. Ten dollars for the lot. That's okay, Chandra. I just you know, just get concerned when I see somebody say that. That's all. No worries, sweetheart. Ten dollars. Any interest? Any interest? Nobody likes Paris Hilton. Kenneth Roseberry is going to start us off at 10. Okay. Chandra, we're all a bit of an arse every once in a while. Don't worry. Yeah, no worries. Have you ever heard some of the stuff I say? Jeez. <laughs> Harold, you want to go 12? I have Kenneth in already at 10. And you do get two. And you get two of them. So you can share. There's a pair. Well, you can put one on one side of the man cave or one on the other. Pam's husband's here. He was helping unroll these. I don't know if these two are stuck together or not, but. <laughs> <laughs> God. Yeah, now he's in the bathroom. I don't know. <laughs> oh, hey. Ah, got it. Okay. All right, we're going to go once to Ken. Ken's going to steal these up. <laughs> Chandra, stop. We can do that silver plate. We're going to go twice now. What do you guys all want to see? We have tons of stuff here this afternoon. If there's anything you really seriously want to see, we'll bring it up. Just a matter of feet in front of us. We're going yeah, twice now. Yep, there you go. And we're going to be sold to Kenneth for $10. Nice deal, Kenneth. I think that was a great buy. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, got a nice little silver plate. So you have these. They are silver plate L and B. I don't know what company that is. They're marked LB right there. It's a silver plate. They are pretty. They're early. So there are one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven of those. Then you have the ice cream, little ice cream dishes. These are Benedict Indestructo Sheffield Plate Nickel Silver. What it says on the bottom of them. There's a pair of those little ice cream bowls. And then there's this beautiful serving tray even has like a rainbow finish on it. And we're going to start this start. off at $20 ship to start. Yeah, because it's definitely going to cost it to ship. I don't even see any markings on this. Doesn't mean there aren't any. It just means I don't see them. But it's kind of tarnished in the back, so it's hard for me to see everything. But... The workmanship is beautiful. Little flower baskets, nice little filigree. 
one around that's real thick. So twenty dollars fire. Rainbow tarnish, yes, silver plated. So you get the seven little cups, the two ice cream dishes, and the big serving platter. <laughs> All right, if there's no interest, let us know, guys. We'll pass on it. We'll bring something else. Yep. We'll bring something else. All right, we're going to pass on it, Mama G. We're going to pass on it. Yep. So just make that lot. We're going to repeat the lot. Repeat the lot. Repeat the lot. All right, somebody asked for posters. Yeah. This one's awesome. Love it. The wonderful world of Melvins. So this is the Melvins. This is done by Greg Rennell, Stain Boy. It is hand signed right there. It is number 55 of 275 made. It measures. Chandra, stop, honey. You're good. You're fine. No worries. All good. Uh, you're fine. <laughs> It's all good. You're all, it's all good, honey. Yep. Listen, we all get silly. We all say things. It's not a big deal. We're not worried. Yeah, have you ever seen Farmer come in here? Yeah, really. Where is Farmer speaking of? He's actually he actually wears pants now. <laughs> he used to just wear a dress, no problem. 21 by 15 and a quarter inches. It is done in day glow paint, so Hard and to like show on the camera, but it's beautiful. Yeah, the colors are much better in person. You can see there's a little ripple to it. There's no creasing or anything like that. They were just stored improperly originally. I can tell you how to make them flat. Uh, generally, you need something perfectly flat like this table. If you put a piece of granite or plexiglass on top of it, about 100 pounds of weight. Let it sit for 24 to 48 hours. And generally, it's called a cold press. And then they are perfect. <laughs> right, Harold? <laughs> for sure. So this one's awesome. For sure, for sure. <laughs> They are numbered, guys. This is 55 of 220. 55 of 275. This is from 2004. It is done by Stain Boy, Greg Renell. It is signed and numbered. $10 start. Brian Maroney's in at 10. Scotty's in at 12. Got Scotty in. Glenn is in. Glenn, you want 14? We can get you in at 14. 15 from Zygon Tiger. Brian's in at 25. Greg. Sure. Brian. It's Greg right now. Zion Tiger is out. We have Brian in at 25, looking for 27 now. Glenn comes in at 27. Ones. These are the actual ones that were used for the concerts. The band and the promotion area, the venue, would get 25% of the print run. Then the artist would get the other 75% to sell. 30 from Vintage Memories. Yes, Carla. Glenn is out. All right. We're going to call it to Vintage Memories at 30. 
going once. Thirty five to Todd Miller. I thought. All right, Vintage Memories is going to be out now. We're going to call it to Todd going once. And we're going to go twice now. And with a fair warning, we are going to sell it to Todd Miller at $35. Congratulations, Todd. Nice deal. Congratulations. Okay. Here's one that somebody asked for specifically. So generally, I only do these once a month because they're cramps. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. The Halloween last grade ball. You're getting this older is, now, so they don't come as frequently. Yeah, this is... Michael Michael Motorcycle, this is number 335 of 391. This is awesome. Scotty's going to come in already at 25. This one looks to be the same size, maybe a little it's larger. A little, bit, a little bit bigger. A little larger. It is 24. I believe it's 18 by 24. 18 by 24. Done by Michael Michael Motorcycle. It's the Cramps, Dinah Cancer, and the Grave Robbers, and the Dead Billies. Was for a, a masquerade ball concert at uh -huh. the Hollywood Athletic Club. Tony comes in at 30. Scotty's now at 32. 35 from Tony. Thirty-seven from Zygon Tiger. And again it's three thirty-five out of three ninety-one. They're asking for a year if you know. Uh the year on this I do not know. We do not know the year on this. Um I don't know why I thought I did know the year on this because I sold one of these because I bought a bunch of these from Brian too. I want to think I thought it was 201, but I'm not 100% sure. 37 now from from Carla. I can find it. No, actually, Zygon Tiger. We need a 39, 2004. Okay. Hey, Michelle Lathan. Thank you, honey. Um, Carla, you want to go 39, honey? Looking for 39 now. Oh, did they find the year? Uh, Michelle Lathan saying 204. That sounds okay. about right. I thought for some reason 201, but she might be right. 44 now from Todd. Saigon Tiger is out. Carla, let us know. <laughs> no, we didn't take it, but we had somebody come in before you at 37, but now we're at 44, so 46 is the next bid. And guys, if you ever make a mistake with a bid, just hit the lead. It'll retract your message, and it'll be fine. I know that happens sometimes with typos. Yep, no worries. Yep, to stay in, we need $46 now. We're looking for a $46 bid. And Michelle's absolutely right. It's 2004. It's 2004. Thank you, Michelle Lathan. If you're ever not sure, you just can go to Espresso Beans. It's a website that has concert concert posters. posters. All right, we're gonna go once to Todd.
All right, Carla is out. We're going to go twice now. Um, we are going to be sold to Todd for $44. Congratulations, Todd. Next up on the chopping block. STP. Yep, 1997. So this is Stone Temple Pilots with Cheap Trick. This one is done by David Dean. He doesn't sign his stuff. So unless you see him at like a show and have him sign it. But whenever he prints them, he does not sign them. This is 1997 Stone Temple Pilots with Cheap Trick. And down at the bottom, you see Calvin and Hobbes. So, cool piece. Brian comes in for 30. Tony comes in for 35. It's an awesome poster, right, Anthony? Anthony, did you buy this? <laughs> Anthony bought this poster from me. Hey. You like picking the same posters. These are the same four you gave me. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, the ones you have the most of? <laughs> no, somebody asked for cramps. Okay. And then I did the Stone Temple Pilots like uh, a couple weeks ago on my channel. Yeah. And it did really well. Yeah, so. mine too. Yeah. All right, Chandra's in at 45 now. Scotty, Mr. Full Warehouse is running out of these. Buy them now. <laughs> All right. Somebody know. They might have somebody come and buy them all. Somebody did What's ask the about somebody asked about a Guar poster. I don't know if you have one or plan on it. I can arrange that. We can make that happen. 40 now from Carl. No, Carly, you're you're lagging, honey. 45 is Chandra. We have 45 to Chandra. Yeah. 47 is the next bid. Tony is out. Carla, let us know. You were lagging a little bit. I'm not sure if you're hearing that or not. Hey, KK. Carla, let us know. Tony is out looking for 47. We have 45 from Chandra. Let us know, Carla. All right. Carla's out. We're going to go once to Chandra at 45. And we're going to go twice now. Um, KK, we did have some coins. Yep, we're going to have more. We will have more, honey. We're and we're going to cool be stuff. sold to Chandra for $45 on the Stone Temple Pilots. Woohoo! Okay, next poster. And then we're going to do the Mickey Mouse Charger, and then I'll do some more silver. Maybe another concert tee or two. Yeah, we're going to do some more concert posters. So this is a Flogging Molly poster. Um, comics today. Um, yeah, if we can clear off this table. I have a box of comics there. We'll we'll get down to. All right, Flogging Molly. Brian's going to start us off at... It's 4 a.m. Still got a couple hours. 25. So this one is a 30 and a half inches tall by 
almost 21 inches wide. As you can see, this one is not rippled at all because of the size of these. They don't ripple as easy. This one is signed by Greg Rennell, Stainboy, right there. It is number 95 of 300 made. This is done in like a metallic flake paint on the side, done in Dayglo colors. It is gorgeous. Yeah, the, the video, you're right, Brian. The, the, the does not even do it justice yeah. here, the colors. It's definitely that like neon 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 green yellow orange it, it's amazing yeah. yeah yeah it's a beautiful poster hey midwest picker thanks for coming in we have 30 now from vintage memories 32 from zygon tiger hello dave thomas midwest picker if you guys haven't subscribed to him he has an awesome channel as well vintage memories is now at 40 he did an unboxing from me the other day. Brian says he's out. Zygon Tiger is out. Glenn, let us know. We appreciate you guys. After you bid, if you're not going to bid anymore, please type the word out. It does help us move faster. And that's from 2004. And the quicker we go, the more you guys get to see... And we're going to go once to Vintage Memories, and we'll wait for Glenn. There we go. Going twice now. Guys, and I want everybody to do everything they can to share us out on social media. We want to get auctions for you to 2,000 subscribers before Christmas. Our goal is 2,000 subscribers before Christmas for T's Christmas gift. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. All right. Vintage Memories is going to... Get this. Hey, Ed Jafrida. I hope you had a nice birthday yesterday. Hello, everybody. Congratulations. This is a great buy. $40 here, to Vintage Memories. Awesome. Check this out. Whoo, bringing the big okay. stuff in now. Now, I will show you guys. Uh, this is a Mickey charger. It has some crazing on it. You can see right by his nose. It is underneath the firing. This is signed by Ward Kimball on the back. It originally was right there. They made 300 of them. This is number 175. There is a chip right here on the back of the piece. Um, I paid $100 for this. So we're going to start it at 100 bucks shipped. I'll lose. You cannot see that chip on this side yeah, of the it plate. It doesn't come through. It is right. Let me see if I can find it. And I would definitely. It is right here. Hit that with some black and a nice seal, and you'll be fine. But it is amazing. He has a button is WK for Ward Kimball. You guys can do a little bit of research. Check it out. It is signed by him. Number one seventy five to three hundred. Hundred dollars start. That is shipped to you. These are very, very expensive and very hard to find. And I will give you guys a size. It is 17 and a half inches. Hey, Jill. Across. Brian's going to start us out at 100, looking for 110 now. $10 increments when we're at 100 So It is an amazing piece. Where's Janine? 110 from Jill. Janine put a thing up on my video. She's like, I have to have that in my life. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Sergeant Spork will show it again. He's audio uh, impaired, so we'll Ward show Ward Kimball. Ward Kimball will show it again. Ward Kimball. 120 from Scott. Right, Anthony, it is. So this is an amazing piece. With the exception of this little flake on the back. I mean, it's a chip. But it's not noticeable in the, the front. front. And to be honest, if you put a little, I mean, even sounds silly, but even a Sharpie and it put a nice clear there. polish on it, you'll be fine. KJ's in for 130. That random girl, Jill, now at 150. Yes, and that was retail when it was new, and now they are rare. Yeah. 
I only know of one other one for sale right now, and it's more expensive than the original price. Which happens with a lot of these pieces. Yeah. All right, we have Jill in at 150, looking for 160 now. This will be a great buy. 160 from Kenneth Roseberry, Rosenberry. Any papers on this? Nope. Any box? Nothing? Nope, they Nothing. Never came. They nope. didn't come from. When they were sold at the Disney store, it was like just generally displayed at the Disney store. to follow this and the game. Oh. <laughs> Sergeant Sports watching the Army Navy game. <laughs> yep, we're getting there, Tony. We're getting there. One seventy from Kyle. KJ, you want to do one eighty? Looking for one eighty now. And if you guys know Wade's Ventures. You can probably sell this to him afterward because he's not here. <laughs> yeah, he might pay double what you pay. <laughs> he called me the other night and asked me about this. I told him, I said, we're going to put it up in the auction today. He said he'd try to make it, but. Looking for 180. 180's the next bid. We have Kyle Elliott in at 170. Correct. Campbell's passed away. 180 to Jill. KJ just a little second. 190, J KJ. Kyle's in for 190. Harold, I don't know if I feel comfortable selling the other charger. Looking for two Benjamins now. There's only 25 of that one made in the world. The other one. Yeah. Too many cricket. Oh, yeah. And it's signed by a better artist. So it's. Really, Who's really the artist on that one? Brenda White. Oh, okay. They're like, you know, probably two to three grand. Two Benjamins now from Jill. Yes, Anthony, this includes shipping. Yep, shipped. Yep. I said the only damage on it is, and if you're looking at the screen, you can't even see you it. You can't see it. It doesn't show. So on the piece itself, it doesn't even show until you get around to the edge. See right there? Shoot. I have to tilt it towards you guys for you to see it. So when it's tilted away, you still see the black border. There's no chip on the front of the piece at all. It no. almost looks like, you know, somebody tried to hang it or put it somewhere. Yeah, unfortunate knock, but it is what it is. And you guys can Super definitely right. fix that. No problem. 210 from Kyle. Jill, let us know. And you can see Doug KJ, Kent. let us know. Right there is Ward Kimball, which is on the button on his pants. Got the whole Picasso look to it. Very abstract Mickey Mouse, and Ward Kimball was one of the better known illustrators. Two twenty now from KJ. Two fifty now from Jill. And Jill, I will make sure the ship's UPS to you because you know, you're still waiting on your SPS package. For sure, Chandra. Absolutely. Beautiful. They cause more problems than they're worth. And the signature looks great. Number 175. We're selling all the good stuff, Shriker. Where have you been? We do. We've got this gorgeous Mickey Charger here. We've got Jill in at 250. Like I said the only damage is that one chip We've on the back. We've got a one back end little snag on this piece. But still gorgeous. It's pretty rough. Very rare, rare KJ to find now at 260. Kyle let us know. Looking for 270. Shriker's at a live auction out in the cold. 
camera was looking like so the cheapest other one available to you. Guys, I don't want to leave anybody out, so please type out when you're done so I don't leave anybody behind. You can turn the heat up if you want from the back. Cold. Yeah, guys, we do appreciate when you type out. It's so important. Even if, like, you're way, like, if you were the first bidder and you just didn't go any further, just to type out, it's just good so we know that you're not even contemplating coming back in. Not that you can't come back in. We never discourage anybody from coming back in, but you can't complain if we type sold after you type out. Right. I'm <laughs> 270 now from Kyle. Kenneth Roseberry is out. Thank you, Kenneth. Seventeen and a half inches. And it's blue. KJ Jill just let us know. 280 now from KJ. <laughs> Jill, you're killing us. You're killing us, says Mama G. Let us know. In or out. <laughs> and tomorrow on my channel, we're going to have a follow-up event for six more hours tomorrow after today. And we're going to have some other really awesome stuff. I'm going to bring one piece to auction that I personally spent $600 just to have the piece linen backed. It is huge, but it is historic piece, 1920s, early 30s. That's okay, chill. And very rare. Kyle, let us know, and Glenn <laughs> will show the back one more time. It's because it's signed by the artist. It's a numbered piece. It's only 300 ever made. And there's the damage right there. Yep. That chip. But the chip doesn't go through to the front. So whenever they knocked it, they just chipped the piece off the back. But as you can see right there. All right. We're going to call it then. We're going to go once to KJ at 280. It is an amazing piece. If you've got somebody that likes Disney, and you don't have a Christmas gift, this is it. We're good for PB and J's. <laughs> We're gonna go twice now for a giant sandwich. A giant sandwich. A sandwich. And with a fair warning, we're gonna sell it. KJ, first time winner here at auctions for you. Congratulations for two hundred and eighty dollars. Number one seventy five of three hundred, Jill. All right, we're sold. No, I have a uh, I have a Brenda White Jiminy Cricket charger. I've never seen another one. Um, it's actually rarer than um, most of the others that she did. Hey, Kathy Bauer. So it was one of her earliest ones. So here's the Guar poster. Somebody was asking us for Guar. This is done by Jason Cooper. This one is number 86, I believe, of 175. Done in Daglo paints. It's like Guar, Dying Fetus, and All That Remains at the House of Blues. And this one's by Jason Cooper. And this one measures... Oops. 
roughly 25 inches by 11. So 25 by 11. All right, and Tony starts us off at 30. Really, again, another one that's black light with the neon lettering. Camera, again, does not do this poster justice. And Brian. T, do you have the StreamYard link for tomorrow yet? I do. Okay. I didn't yeah. see it. I, if you can drop it in the prior, I can start posting it. Okay. Oh no, uh, Brian no. didn't. I did. I did. The, yeah. All right. Yeah. We don't. Um, okay. If you send me over the thing, I can. I did email it, it to you. Oh, did you? Yeah. Okay, you emailed it. I emailed okay. it to you. I can do it. Uh, did I email it to you, or did I drop it in? I can tell you right now where I dropped it. Let's see. If you send it to my Instagram or whatever, or Gmail it doesn't matter. Uh, no, it's, I probably I probably emailed it to you. That's fine. If, especially from my Gmail. I can create yeah, it. Yeah, I sent it to you, okay. I'll create it in just a second. We'll, we'll, we'll get it done right now, Mama G. I'll do it while T does. Uh, I have a couple more posters up here. And then I'll put some concert t-shirts. Here. Is that a New Orleans poster? Uh, it's Decatur Street in New Orleans, yes. Yep. And Todd comes in for 32. Tony back in at 35. Aw, Charlie Pride passed away today. Are you okay, oh, I got tons of albums for Charlie Pride if anybody's interested. I'll make somebody a deal. I'll probably have 25 LPs of Charlie Pride. Are you okay? Hey, Susanna. I put some more concert shirts right here. Okay. I'll put a nice LP lot together of Charlie Pride if anybody's interested. Shoot me an email. All right, Ronnie. You got it, baby. Was he 86? Wow. He was that old. It's amazing how time flies. All right, we're going to go twice now. And with a fair warning, we're going to be sold to Tony for $35. Congratulations, Tony. Okay, you got it, Ronnie. No problem, hon. Absolutely. Absolutely. positively. All right. All right, the next one we're going to bring up. This is the German Kiss concert from September 21st. I didn't know the year on this one, too. Psycho Circus with Kiss. This one is... Tony finally got his poster. Congratulations. This one is... 9... Or 33 by... 23 and a quarter. No sound? Can you guys not hear me? I have sound, so they need to refresh or check their, their... Okay. Yes, it is a German poster. It's when they toured in Germany on their tour. Um, September, European style, you know, they all do their numbers and dates backwards. So it's September 21st. I'm not sure of the year 
on this one. All right. So, so let's start at 20. Yeah. $20 ship to start on this one. Saigon Tiger is going to start us off at 20. Glenn, you want to go 22? 25 to Tony. Again, so to avoid the glare, we'll hold this up a little bit. The Snue Studio Album. A B September 21st. I'm Handel Psycho Circus. And here's the polygram Mercury label at the bottom. The actual poster that was presented for the concert. And we've got Glenn in at 32 now. Thirty-five from Vintage Treasures. Carla, you are lagging, sweetheart. Forty from Vintage Treasures. 42 from Glenn. And just to avoid it so you guys don't see the glare on this and see the bottom. 45 now from Vintage Treasures. These posters also, so you guys know, do not have any stickies. Like, they were never hung on a wall or anything like that. Um, there's no tears, rips. We'll package this. Might be a little bit of creasing, um, a little bit of wear on the edge, but no major damage. And they will be rolled in a tube, securely sent. $50 now from Glenn. For sure, Anthony. We got some concert tees coming up next. Concert tees coming up next. All right, Tony is out. And we're going to go once to Glenn at 50. Going twice now. And with a fair warning, we're going to call it to Glenn. $50. Thank you, Glenn. Congratulations. All right. Let's do let's do a concert tier two. All right, how about this one? We have This one is a one size fits all. Got the, the cow neck, long sleeve. And this is body rate, luck of the draw. This is embossed on here. You can see that, really nice. Body rate. Start this off at 15 shipped. Thank you. 
Nice condition. Don't see any flaws? Looks clean. It's got the long sleeve. Nice for this time of year for sure. And it is a one size fits all. It's 100% cotton. Made in the USA. U.S. of A. It's a one-size-fits-all, Scott. That's what they're calling it. I would call it one-size-fits-most. <laughs> Again, this is a nice embossed, embroidered. A luck of the draw, Bonnie Raitt. If there's no interest, we'll pass on it. Is there anything on the back, T? No. Okay, no. thank you. The back is plain. The back is plain. Am I willing to accept 10 for it? Um, From Kenneth. Let's see if Brian, Brian stepped away. All right, we'll hold it on the side. If we'll, we'll put past in there. I'll put a note on the side. Oh, okay, 12. Gonna come in 12. Now. All right, we'll start the bidding at 10 then. Striker 15. Strikers comes in at 15. All right. Seventeen to Kenneth now. Well, welcome back, Janine. Schreiker is out. We have Kenneth and it's seventeen. Scott is out. We're gonna call it to Kenneth at seventeen. I'm going twice now. And with a fair warning, we're going to be sold to Kenneth Roseberry for $17. Congratulations, Kenneth. All right. Let's see what we have here. This is Radio 104 Fest, July 4, 2003. It's a white shirt. It does need, it's got a little ring around the collar, so to speak, on this one. A little yellowing. It needs a little spray and wash. It is a Gildan Ultra Cotton Active Wear, and it is a size large. Here is the back. We're going to start this off at 15. Radio 104 Fest, July 4th, 2003. And concert featured a bunch of these groups. And Brian's going to start us off. Mama G, there's the link for you, honey. 
and I'll throw it in the um, in the back if you needed to. Kenneth in at 17 now. Looking for 19. 19 is the next bid. 20 to Brian. All right, Kenneth is out. We have Brian at 20. Any other interest? We're going to go once. We're going to go twice now. And with a fair warning, we're going to be sold. Congratulations, Brian. All right. Fans meet Bish. Watch us to mash. DCU sent a live nation. This is a Haynes Ultimate Cotton Extra Large 4648. We're going to start this one off at 25. It's really heavy. Nice sweat. Really clean. Actually feels unwashed. Feels unwashed. It's got that nice combed cotton inside. Really comfortable. Warm. Hoodie. Yeah, doesn't even look used, guys. 2013. Did you get that link? Yeah. Okay. I didn't know if I did it right or not. Just trying to like fly through it. Oh, I would have, I would have, as long as you put it up, I could have done it. Oh, no problem. Oh, this is amazing. I know. Yeah. Awesome. Started at 25. Yeah, this is awesome. I actually, this is one of the things I paid up on. So this is fish. It's, can't, 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 it's can't. an extra large, forty six forty eight, Harold. Two thousand thirteen. Oh, there's Harold, can you hear me? Because I, Mama G, you can hear me, right? Yes, I can. Okay, I don't know why sometimes people say they can't hear. All right, it's an extra large. Yeah, this is cool. $25 ship to start on this one. And we'll do uh, some more textiles, some more vintage clothing. Okay. All right.
The Brimeroni. Where's Brimeroni? No, he doesn't want this. He said, no, he's going to pass on this one. He passed for me. All right, we're going to pass on this one. We're going to pass on this one. We'll bring it back another time. We'll bring it back another time. I'm sorry, kid. No, I can't come down to 15 on this one. I'll pass it, and we'll have to bring it back. Yeah. Yeah. But we can start this one out at 10. This one's awesome. Okay, so this is a Jersey's high cotton large for Willie Nelson. Great, huge, large image on the front and on the back. Live music here tonight. American icon Willie Nelson, singer, songwriter, actor, author. So this was a one night venue. I don't actually know what venue. We're going to bring it back, Christine. We're going to bring it back, sweetheart. Yep. So we have Willie Nelson. One of the country icons. Did you say size on this one, Brian? I did. It's a large. On a jersey's label. Okay, we have 10 with Connie's books and things. We have Brian Maroney in at 15. Tony, you have to go by $2 increments. We have Scott Eifler in at 17, Connie's Books and Things in at 18. Oh, wait, no, we have, we have Tony in at 16. We have Connie's in at 18. We have Brian Maroney in at 20. There we go. We're at $20 with Brian Maroney, and this has a great front hit and a back hit for Willie Nelson. We're at 22 with Tony. This was for a one night only concert. Connie's Books and Things is out. Thank you, Connie. We're at 24 with Brian Maroney. Janine, I think you missed the Disney plate. Tony is out. Okay, I think it is. Scott, let me know if you're out. Yep, Janine, it went for two eighty. Going twice. And we are sold. Lot number 39 to Brian Maroney for $24. Thank you, Brian. Getting some steals and concert shirts. Okay. Okay, let's do a lot of vintage clothes real quick. I have more concert shirts, guys. No worries. So this is a vintage woolen sweatshirt type thing from Nan Elliott. 100% wool, size 12. So very pretty. Has all this extra embezzlement here. Really nice buttons. Have a little shininess to them. Here are the embellishments. It's going to be a $15 start. Here is a green skirt. This has like these 
like pendulum drops right here. Has the original belt, side zip. It is a ELEM zipper. I'm trying to see if I see any tags or labeling inside. I do not, at least on the top side. It does have a liner inside of it, and I don't see anything there. This is a blue ruffled uh, tricolor sweatshirt. Or not sweatshirt, skirt, dress, whatever you want to call it. A little string tie in the back for extra. Button on the side. Probably 50s, be my guess. I see CC, but I don't see. Oh, Chris, you missed out. Came just a minute too late. Oh, he would have loved that. He would have. The, the big Disney charger. Tomorrow on my channel, we'll do the other Disney charger, the better one. Okay, this is a brown, probably rayon would be my guess. So, Did you get Christina Rose a, a measurement on that green one? All right, no. we will, Chris. We'll get you a measurement, honey. And then here is another blue... I think it says Virgin Orlon Acrylic, size medium. It says Men's Blue Orlon Cardigan Medium. I have a year. He's like 1960s. Shit. Don't worry, Chris. Just make sure you show up tomorrow because we're going to do some really, really, really amazing stuff. A really good time with like, a really good show. Like the best stuff that I've done so far. So which one are we needing the size on? The green one. She wants the waist measurement. Okay. Um, waist measurement. Here we go. It is tiny. It's like a, a zero. It is 11 inches across. 11 inches. Twenty-one inch waist. Yep. Whew. It's gonna take me a few more days of my diet to get into a twenty-one Ooh. inch right waist. <laughs> I can't fit one leg in that. <laughs> and then the Nan Elliott sweater is really pretty. It's in really nice shape. And it has a nice border on it. See there. <laughs> <laughs> so you get all of that vintage clothing for one money. One money, one money. Do you have any bids or pass? You guys interested? Oh, man, Kathy missed out, too. Yeah, <laughs> Christopher and KK come in at the wrong time after we <laughs> sold it. Bitter pass, guys. We're getting interest in the vintage clothing. All right, There's we're going to pass, pass on it. All right, thank you, Chris. We'll pass on it. Okay. Look, let's do a really cool vintage tee. So. As opposed to this tee. We're not that vintage yet. Well, 1975. So this is a vintage t-shirt. It's 1975 Buckeye Tennis Championships. Obviously, it's a single stitch. It is completely washed out. Can't read the label. But 1975 City National Bank Love Buckeye Tennis Championship t-shirt. So a very early t-shirt. There are a few little ones right here. A couple little spots. But this is a good early 70s t-shirt. It's tennis. It's Buckeye. It's dated. I 
I brought it there on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see? I brought it. Leave the auction one off. All right. All right. Sir. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I showed it. Okay. So ten dollars start, guys. The good early T shirt, nineteen seventy five. And any vintage tees right now are very hot, especially if, with graphics. Look for any interest. If there isn't any, let's pass it. Yeah, we're going to go quick, guys. We have so much to get through. We have only an hour left. All right, Brian's going to come in for 10. Okay. Yeah, this is a very, very good shirt. It is thin. If you guys are following the t-shirt market, this stuff's awesome. Yeah, well, I want to try to clear that that cart. It's we've been working on trying to get that cart clear for a month. So we gotta... Brian, do you know Sandy Dorsey? Um I don't think so. Okay. Sandy, are you registered with either of us, honey? Let us know. I can look on my phone, but we have Chris Chatworth in at 15. Do you guys follow like the Instagram t-shirt auctions? Stuff this early brings really ridiculous money. Sandy, we'll go ahead and drop the registration link uh, so that you you registered a while ago. I bought some magazines a few months ago from Brian. Months ago? Oh, on uh, Sandy, are you with me on on Facebook? She might be with me on Facebook. All right, just do us a favor, and Sandy, honey, just click on that link and register for us. Yep, that. We'll take your bid if you want, um, if you're interested in this shirt. We'll absolutely take your bid here, but please fill okay, please fill out the registration form for us um, for YouTube. This is for our YouTube auctions. Appreciate it. Yeah, she's probably about to crush me on Facebook. That list is like 2,000 people. So. Okay. And then once you fill that out, you're registered um, actually with three different channels here on Facebook. So we appreciate it. Let us know if anybody wants to come in at 17 as well as Sandy will take your bid. $17 is the next bid. Jill's going to come in for 17 And that's for three channels on YouTube, not Facebook. Oh, did I say Facebook? Yes, ma'am. Oh, gosh. Facebook on the mind. Yes. Yeah, yeah, she bought from me on Facebook. No, no. He, she said, that I'll register you with three channels on Facebook and so I meant to say uh, YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Christopher Chatworth now at 20. Yes, she did. I have her. So you are welcome to bid, Sandy, but also fill out their registration. This way we have you for all the channels. Yep, we have you for YouTube, for auctions for you, Donatella Bottolino, and for my channel, for Mr. Buys a Lot, which is where we'll be at tomorrow, guys. All right, we're going to go once to Christopher at 20. This is going to be a good buy for you, Chris. Going twice now. And with a fair warning, we're going to be sold to Christopher Chatworth for $20. Congratulations, Christopher. Let's do something a little fun. Check this out. How many of you have... Oh, my goodness. I had these phones. A teenager at home. Well, I even, had these phones. Even a 20-something at home. Look at this. Look, this is crazy. Like a light turquoise blue rotary dial western electric bell systems telephone These things lay like 
three pounds each. It's got a metal <laughs> bottom trim line. You have a like a brownish mocha. I don't know what color. No, color. more of a maroon closer Lava to maroon. It yeah. Like lipstick. Yeah, it's a rose a, maybe this even is a, a deep push rose <laughs> trim line. Bell trim line. This is like man, whenever you were getting sophisticated, you got push button phones instead of the rotary dial. We were going to give this to my son and see if he could figure out how to dial. <laughs> give him the rotary one. That's yeah. fun. And here is oh, this, another. For trim sure. Line. When yellow. they have out of avocado and yellow kitchens, this was the one yeah. in the yellow kitchens. There's the connector. The connector on the bottom of this has snapped out. It usually goes like so. Right there. The little plastic is not holding it anymore. Right, Harold? When it really felt good hanging up on somebody. <laughs> Ain't it the truth? You know, you didn't get nearly as many like telemarketing calls back then. Either. No. It took too long. Look, this is how this plugged into the wall. This is the weird connector for the wall. Oh, yeah. For the like blue one. So we have to get at least $20 start on this because they're, yeah, it's a, they're pretty heavy. Pretty heavy. Um, definitely vintage. <laughs> Michelle. All different colors. <laughs> Another customer. Some old lady is still paying $10 a month to rent that phone. <laughs> You're okay. right. You're right, Michelle. Harvest gold and avocado okay. green. Yes, Connie. And here is a wild Philco oh vintage clock radio. Uh, two rotary, one push dial on the phones. Yeah, they're all from probably the same time area. That's the plug in rotary or uh, plug in clock radio from Philco. It is model J77214. And guys, as always at white. the auction, nothing here is tested. Yeah, I don't know if they have. So we have no this. idea. And then there's this thing, some kind of a speaker phone, Mura phone adapter. So you plug your phones it's in like there. It's like an intercom system, something there. Back about, in the day, yeah. Mura phone. 30, 22 now from Glenn, 24 now from Connie, 26 from Froggy. Just interesting. I thought they were very cool because you just don't see that stuff anymore. And I know there's a huge market out there for colored telephones. Yes. And, you know, today, and if you couldn't get these off maybe years ago, but now today it just takes a Mr. Clean magic eraser and you probably can get half that stuff off. For <laughs> Clean sure. it up really nice. Just this conversation pieces. Forget anywhere else. Next slot we're going to do, guys, is going to be some silver since we have I saw KK in the room and a couple other people that were looking for silver, so I'll do another silver lot next. And we have 32 now from Connie's Books and Things. Thirty-five now from Vintage Memories. Nah, no. Thirty-seven from Connie. Yeah, it's like riding a bike, Ronnie G. 40 now from Froggy. Thank you, Harold. Appreciate it. Welcome. Thank you for joining. I'm going to make the next lot good. Hey, Pam, what did you do with the baggies? Oh, Harold knows these phones. <laughs> All right, let me get you wrenched up, Harold. Thank you for joining. Appreciate it. Welcome to the auctions. So, nice little group. All right, Glenn is out. Vintage Memories is out. We have Froggy in at 40. Connie is out. We're going to go twice now. I think I just cleaned almost half the scuffs off the, the yellow one off my fingernail. Yeah. Just dirt. And we're going to be sold to Froggy at $40. Congratulations. Congratulations. Okay. 
promised we we're going to do some more silver. So hopefully we got some silver people in the house. Twenty dollars start, guys. I'll, I'll show you what we're getting. Nineteen sixty-four silver half dollar. And the half. This one almost looks uncirculated, except I'm sitting here touching it. Another nineteen sixty-four. I think these were part of a roll that I had at some point in time, but they might have been circulated. So you get two of those. You get a 1942 Walking Liberty, half dollar. You get a 1921 Morgan dollar. This one's in amazing condition. There you go. Thank you. 1921. Casual flipper is going to start us out at 25. KK's in at 30. Ronnie's in at 50. There is something, some mark. Hand me the loop. You can just give me the loop. I have a loop over oh, there. you have a loop over here? Where, where am right I missing right it? next to the circle. See the silver top? Oh my God. So let me see if I can give you guys the mint mark. It is an S. So this is a 1921 S. You get two KK silver, in for 65 two, now. Two silver half dollars that are 64. A 1942 silver half. And guys, once we hit the Benjamin mark, I'm going to put a one ounce silver round with this lot. Actually, I'm going to put it there now. Why wait? Right. This is a one ounce silver round. Mama Liberty. G's in for 70. So we're going to. Why is it not focusing? There we go. 2009. One and ounce. we have a Benji now. One ounce fine silver round with the coins. Yes, three different, right? yes, one three different ones. There's two t shirts underneath it. Oh. So this is what you're getting. So pretty awesome lot. All silver, one ounce, fine silver, 1921, Morgan dollar. It's an S. 1921 S, the 1943 Walking Liberty, and the two 1964s. All right, and we have KK in for 100. Oh, Betty Webb, nice to meet you. Ronnie is out. So this, Mama's this is out. Beautiful. We're going to go once to KK. It's pretty much uncirculated, a one ounce silver round. All right, no other interest. We're going to go twice to KK. It's okay. And with a fair warning, ladies and gentlemen, we are sold to KK. Congratulations, Kathy. Okay. Now let's do a concert t-shirt. Actually, let's do a concert poster. Okay. 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 Hello, we need to mute that. All right. So we got Morrissey. I am so upset that he's selling this poster on me. <laughs> this, Jermaine Rogers. This is like awesome, guys. 1994. Nine. This is number 84 of only 150. It is Morrissey. 
Meat is Murder with the Jack in the Box guy. This is from San Francisco. 1999. Signed and numbered. This is an awesome poster done in Daglo paints right there. And tape measure. Yep. She's over here crying. It's okay. And I know there's no crying at the auction. <laughs> it is almost 28 inches by 11 and a quarter. Airplane See, this is T's genre. This is her music. <laughs> so signed and numbered. The Smiths, Marcy, all that, all that era. 1999. Huh? Kathy, KK. KK. 100. Yeah, who wants them? So looking for our 35 now from Mountain Man Treasures. Mama G, what number are you? You're 43. Okay. All right. We got 40 now from Brian, 42 now from Schreiker. It's an awesome poster. A 60 now from Brian. <clears throat> Striker is out. Brian jumps the bid, throws the uppercut in there. Says, it's all mine. 1999. 1999. Jermaine Rogers. Signed and numbered. They only made 150 of them. Sixty-five now from Todd. Mountain Man Treasures were doing five dollar increments over fifty. Seventy-five now from Brian. Todd's in for 80 now. Mountain Man Treasures is out. All right, we're going to go twice now. And with a fair warning, we're going to be sold. Sold to Todd at $80. Congratulations, Todd. All right, guys, we have a surprise. We have another one. This is the same thing. Um, it's just two numbers off. It's signed number 86 of 150. If anyone will offer it first to the backup bidder, who would be Brian. If you want one for 80, Brian, it's yours if you would like it. $80. Brian says he'll take it. All right. Oh, 
Guys, we are not bidding on this again. We already had it up to 80 and it's already been sold to Brian Mahoney. Yeah. Yeah. We just happen to have two of them, guys. I have a few of a of some of them. Sometimes we have duplicates on these guys. That's okay. They're just different numbers. So this is a 1999 Drowning Creek Studios. This is done by Jeff Wood. It is signed right there by Wood, number 263 of 500. This is the almond. So this is Greg Almond. It has an awesome vintage car on it. As you can see, it's got a little wave to this one. It needs to be flattened. Nice little cold press will do this miracles. Tape measure, please. Tape measure. Oh, yes. Yes, sir. Okay. This one is 29 and a half inches long by 10 inches tall. $10 start. Searching for simplicity. Yep. Nation... December, Big Street, Big Street. Oh, it's night. What? Yeah, it's National December eighteen. Nation December eighteen. Nation okay. December eighteen. So it's Greg Allman and friends. Yep. Searching. And it is December. numbered. It's nineteen ninety nine. What'd you start to say? Ten. Okay, we got twenty from Chandra now. Twenty two from Schreiker. Did you say if it was signed? Yeah, it is signed by Jeff Wood. Thank you. Right there. Not by Greg Allman, no, James. <laughs> signed by the artist. Yep. Signed by the artist who created it. How are you feeling, Pat? Did you drive by yourself? Yeah, I'm not. I'm on antibiotics and pain pills. So. Oh, great! You're driving with pain pills. Hi, Pat D's. Hey, Marty. <laughs> not supposed to mention my name. I don't want the viewership to drop. Right. Yeah, 125 yeah. of you is here. Two, did it drop too? <laughs> oh, we just lost 17. Wow. <laughs> that algebra. <laughs> <laughs> I try to save, save your money. I pick up my stuff. <laughs> you put the check in? Striker is out. Yeah, I put it in my bedroom. Oh. Any other interest, or we're going to go once to Chandra? I'll, I'll make sure it gets all sweet. Yeah, it, does, it just got it hit yesterday. Oh, no, it's not. No, no. Oh, okay. Yeah, not yeah. it. <clears throat> beautiful. Yeah, it's an awesome poster. We're going to go twice now. It's been a few concert posters. Uh oh, today. the phone got disconnected. Yeah, all of a sudden, I don't know what happened. All right, it's good now. That was weird. It's like the, the sometimes if the internet loses the connection, it'll do that. It popped all of us back in the screen. Ah, okay. it, it's probably just it, 22 now from Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman, you're lagging, honey. I know. 26. You're lagging. Yeah, we have 26. And we're sold anyway for 26. Chandra. Touch Chandra. Refresh, refresh, refresh. Okay. Let's do a movie poster lot, guys. Movie posters. These are all original one-sheet movie posters. I don't quite know how many yet because I just grabbed a stack out of the box. This is Last Embrace, 1979. I'm just trying to see if there's uh, Roy Schneider's in that movie. I'll show you guys. One, I'll open the first one just to give you guys a size. If I see something that's super, super exciting, I might open it. But they are 27 by 41 inches. They are original movie posters. They are one sheet movie posters. Last Embrace. So we'll try to keep a count somehow. But don't hold me to that. Love Songs. This one is 1985. That one's got Chris Lambert in it. There are two of those. 
right here. So that's three posters. Throw Mama from the Train, 1987. Four posters. Hanover Street. This one is 1979. Five posters. This one has Harrison Ford in it. Let's see. Harrison Ford, Leslie Ann Down, and Christopher Plummer. 1979. You're going to get this entire stack of posters, guys. I don't know how many. Three, four, five. We're five posters so far. He's going to keep count. Outright Shriker's in a 20. Hey, Brandon. Flipping it good's in a 22. Okay. So this is six posters. Brubaker with Robert Redford from 1980. Seven posters. Fort Apache, the Bronx, which is Paul Newman. Eight. Hanky Panky. There we go. 26 from John. It says Gene Wilder in it. Nineteen eighty-two. This looks to be Richard Pryor live on Sunset Strip. One Trick Pony. Paul Simon. Nineteen eighty. Another Hanover Street. Nineteen seventy-nine. Bad Guys with Sergeant Slaughter, like the wrestler. All right. We had uh, Sandy come in at thirty. Flipping it good, come in at thirty-two. And we had Shrika go woo, fifty dollars. Flipping it good in at fifty-five now. Semi Throws the hammer down. Semi tough, guys. There's at least fifty posters. So this is uh, Burt Reynolds and Chris Christopherson in Semi Tough, nineteen seventy-seven. Get Crazy, nineteen eighty-three. Uh, let's see, Body Rock, starring Lorenzo Lamas. Oh, this is awesome. Remember like the old uh, breakdance movies and stuff? Lorenzo Lamas when he's young. Body Rock. Honky Tonk Freeway, 1981. Bo Bridges is in that one. 1985, Russell's Rhapsody. 1986, Outrageous Fortune. Striker with the Benjamin. Woohoo! Being there. And Snapper in at 125 now. 1985, Blue City. Greased Lightning, 1977. But Private Benjamin. There's two of those. That's the one with Galdi Hahn. Yeah. 1981, The Incredible Shrinking Woman. There's another one of those. Another one of those. It's three. That was Lily Tomlin, Four. wasn't it? Was it uh, it's Lily Ned Tomlin? Beatty and Lily Tomlin. Yep. Tells Grogan. Yep. Show my age. 1987, David Carradine in that one. Another Private Benjamin. Going Berserk, 1983. This one has John Candy in it. Sahara, 1983. Striker now at 150. 1981, On the Right Track. 1980, Old Heavenly Dog, which is Benji. Chevy Chase and Benji are Old Heavenly Dog. Remember Benji the dog? Yes. 1978, the one and only. 165 now to Snapper. 1983, Nightmares. 1977, Black Sunday. Let's see if I can see. The Toy. So that's Richard Pryor and Jackie Gleason. That. 1982. 1980, The Fiendish Plot of Dr. Fu Manchu. Very cool. Brubaker again with Robert Redford. A Change of Seasons, 1980. That's Anthony Hopkins and Shirley MacLaine. Shout at the Devil, 1976 with Roger Moore and Lee Marvin. Up the Creek, 1984. Oh God, You Devil, 1984. These are all original one sheets. 1977, Cassandra Crossing. This one is... Continental Divide. Pre 80s, usually when it's like this one. Yeah. Well, they're usually like, so up to 19, like 1986, 87, they're generally folded. Continental Divide. Is that Blue one is she? 1981. Blue Sheet, yep. Cassandra Crossing. Thanks for my tip. Last Embrace, 1979. Another Last Embrace. Bustin' Loose, 1981. That one's cool, Richard Pryor. 
1981 Sunday Lovers. So that's Gene Wilder, Roger Moore, Butch and Sundance, the early days, 1979. Very cool. Sahara, Spanish style B poster. Another uh, Hanover Street with Harrison Ford. Sharky's Machine, that should be Burt Reynolds, 1981. But lots of great actors, 1982, Silent Rage. Let's see if, it, if I can figure out who's in this one. Chuck Norris, that's who's in this one. Chuck Norris. Before he was Walker, Texas Ranger. He was Silent Rage. Oh God, 1977. 1984. Beat Street. That was a great movie. 1982. Let's see what this one is. Coming in March. So this is a preview poster. Four. And then, oh, Richard Pryor on Sunset Strip. Rollover, 1981. Buddy Buddy, 1981 with Walter Matthau and Jack Lemmon. And It's My Turn. Michael Douglas. Who else is in this one? Charles Grodin. I think that's those are the main people on that one. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53. Certainly, Tony. 54, 55, 56, 57. 58, 59, throw mama from the train, 60, 61, 62, 62 original one sheet movie posters from the 70s and 80s, guys. And with your permission, uh, Tony, I'll share your email with that person if you'd like. And we have 165 from. Snapper Joe, let us know in or out. Striker, less, less than three dollars a piece right now. Shipped 190 now from Striker. Lots of Burt Reynolds, Chuck Norris, Gene Wilder, Richard Pryor. Double Benjamins now from Snapper. 200. Joe is out. Striker is out. Snapper's at 200, and we're gonna call it 200 for 63 original movie posters. Joe is out, Janine. Well, we I see an out, honey. We're gonna go twice now. Cody, hand me that comment box, that long one there. I'm gonna sell whatever that is. Yep. The one that's down there on the floor. Yep. Up. Oh, sniper, Todd Miller, 230. Todd Miller's at 230. 63 original movie posters. Set it up here. I'm sorry. Got to see what it is. I'll show one of them, and if anybody cares, then we'll sell them the whole box. You taking off? Leaving us already? Yeah. I, because I, your wife doesn't know you're here. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's a good option. And hey, nice trip to 
I'll watch you guys tomorrow. All yeah, right. We'll be on. Sounds good. Thanks See for stopping then. by. Thank you. Glad you're feeling better. Thank you. All right. Snapper, let us know. We've got Todd in for 230. 230. 250 from Snapper. Awesome group. It's about four bucks a piece. Okay, Chandra, thank you. Two sixty now from Todd. Thank you for the sports update, Sergeant Spork. Army eleven, Navy zero. Right. Two seventy five now from Snapper. That's why they don't let the Air Force play. Shh, Mama G's in the back. <laughs> That's because they'd be winning. <laughs> that can only be the Army and Navy playing. If they had the Air Force, it wouldn't be a fair. It wouldn't be fair to the Army and Navy. Nice save, Brian. Nice save, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Snap is in at 275. We need 285, Todd, if you're still in. I want to be an Air Force Ranger. And Todd's going to go out. All right, we're going to count it down to Snapper at 275, going once. And we're going to go twice now. Did you see Todd come in right at 285 before Sold was in there? I did. I did. I did. I saw Todd come in. I saw him. 285. 285 to Todd. Triple Benjamins now to Snapper. 300 now. 65 posters. Just because of the fact that 63 is bothering me. All right, so we're going to make it posters. 65 now. We just added two more to this poster lot. Hello, Donatella Badalino. What's up, girl? All right, Todd is out. Wait, which which one of those, which, which color belt does she wear for her turtle outfit? Oh, wait, that's <laughs> Donatella, not Donatella. Okay. We're going to go once again, and we're going to go twice, and with a Fair warning, we are sold to Snapper for $300. Congratulations, Mama G. Sold, sold, sold. Sold, <laughs> sold, sold. 300. 300. Huh? Yes. $40. Okay, okay guys, this is from the 2000. October 18th, 2000, all aboard Subway Series Special from the Daily News from New York. I'm not a New Yorker. I'm a New Yorker. My father worked for the Daily News for 47 years. But I can't tell you, this is what it looks like. I do know they sell. So obviously one is um, 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 Jeter. Is I think it's Jeter. I think it's Jeter and Rodriguez. I don't remember. I'm, I'm so confused right now. Yeah, it's definitely Jeter. I'm sure they're... I'm not a Met fan. I'm only a Yankee fan. I don't know who those Met people are. I'm sure that one of you guys is going to tell us who the two players are. But let's... Oh, it's Piazza. All right, it's Piazza. Oh, Piazza. Mike Piazza. Okay. Mike Piazza. But there are well one, be. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve... So there's probably like 15. Oh, okay. So there's going to be 12. This is different. Plus you're going to get these. So this is also the Subway Series special. October 18th, 2000. Yankees win. Dave Justice glassed a three-run homer in the seventh inning. Yankees 
So there's a group of these, and there's like a dozen of these. And then there's like a miscellaneous. Yep. It's too beat up. Yeah. We don't like that. So there's two of these and a bunch of these. It's like a dozen or more. And I possibly could get away with shipping these media now, right? Yeah. Newspapers. -ish. So, so there's at least 20 six. papers. There's 20 papers. That's what it is. Okay, there's 20 there's, papers. So there's 20 of those. Com combination of all. Oh, eight, 20. 18 of these and yeah. two of these. Combination of all is 20 papers. So 18 and two. <laughs> so it's a bitter pass, guys. 20 bucks. Yeah, I know. Technically, no, but you won't have an issue with these because of the age. You'll be fine. Heavy. Yeah, you'll be fine. Okay. All right, Scott's going to start us off at 15. Okay. I did see these These actually sell. Oh, these sell. I sell papers all the time on eBay. Used to do them a lot more. Don't so much anymore, but they do sell. So there's 20 pieces. You're at less than a dollar a piece shipped right now. Yep, and you get all 20 of them. And that's shipped to your door. Yes, Yankee $15. fans do spend money. Exactly, James, for sure. You'll actually get people in Florida to buy them, too, because, well, number one, we all moved there. Number two, uh, you got Jeter running the Florida team now. 19 to Scott. Snapper will be married to like Mariah Carey. I ha hate to be particular, but, all right, Shriker's in for 22. I don't think they're married. I don't think Someone they're married. married Are they Mariah married? Carey or Janet Jackson? Or one no, of those no, two. it's um, J Lo, but J -Lo. they're not oh, married. Yeah, they're, they're married. not married. I don't think. I don't know if they ever formally or officially got married. No, that's Rodriguez and J Lo. Yeah, it's, oh, it's Rodriguez. Yeah, and not not uh, Jeter. Yeah. Jeter is um, who's Jeter? Huh? I'm not sure about Jeter. A lot of people probably weren't sure. About right, Jeter. Donna. Someone's looking for those. <laughs> All right, 22 to Schreiker. And this is the worst condition one. Yeah, the, one the rest of them are pretty decent. The rest of them are much nicer. I'll show you guys one. See, the rest of them are much nicer. Unfortunately, with newspapers, they yellow a lot faster if you don't keep them in plastic. And this was really all in the heyday of the Yankees, too. We're 24. So there's a total of 20 pieces. All right, 26 now to Schreiker. Just like this. Yep. Uh, the red ones are the are the New York Post. Yep. They're also about the Subway series, and they're two of the same all aboard. Yep. October eighteenth, two thousand. They're all October eighteenth, two thousand. One is Daily Post. One is Daily News. Both are Subway series specials. This one Pretty features Dave Justice. Just before 9 11. Mm -hmm. Yep. Twin Towers are on the front page, too, guys. Just before 9 11. All right. We're going to go once to snap a uh, striker. Go twice now. And we're sold for $26 to Schreiker. Nice buy. Big, 
big bargain there. Whew. That's a box by itself. No, you mean you can't squeeze his po Oh, no, he didn't win the posters. <laughs> Uh oh, there's nothing in it. Okay, this is a, another shirt. I am not sure of the band, but this is from the concert shirt. Sorry, I kind of tossed that on the floor. <laughs> right there, it's got a W. If somebody knows the band, let's know this is a Haynes Heavyweight 50 50. Here's the back of it. The band should be on the top. Yeah. I, I can't read it. Oh, it's upside down. I'm serious. Oh, is it Ozzy? No, it's not. Up, oh, it's weird. It's like almost mirror image. I don't know. Can you see it through it? I don't know. Okay, who knows their concert shirts? Who knows this cover of this band? This is... Yeah, Bluegrass Picker. This. What's the size of the shirt? shirt? It is a extra large, XL. Adult extra large. But I cannot. So funny, it's almost like it's upside down. And backwards. And backwards. Because this is definitely like an R. Or it looks like holy or. Originally, I thought it said Aussie returns. I can almost almost like it's almost like this would be Skinner to me, but backwards. But I don't think it's it's definitely not. Yeah, I, I can't make this out. <laughs> Sean, grab a mirror fast. <laughs> Records? Me. Lenny Kravitz, Robbie Show. No. No. Maybe. I don't know. Somebody out there will know. I'm sure it's a I'm sure it's an album cover. But ten dollar start. Somebody's gotta know what it is. We have ten dollars from Scott. Wavy Reaver. That's Jade right. Moon knew who it was right away. She wanted a size on it. Wavy Reaver. There you Good go. Good for you, Jade Moon. The only wear on it is on the image right there. You can see the, the paint crackling. Wavy Reaver. All right. Scott's in for 10. So that's what it is, guys. Wavy Reavers. She's saying, no, I don't know. She's laughing at us. Oh. <laughs> She's laughing at us. Jade. That actually is what it looks like. I would, I would go with that. It sounds great. All right, let's try a Google Lens. We're going to try it. We're going to try it. Let's see if we can do it. I don't okay. know if it's going to happen, but... Google Lens. Um, Maybe this is the Hotel California. Google Lens. You don't have it? I guess not. I probably do, but... Now it's installed. Hmm. Yeah, I need that bubble back here. Looks like a Rush album cover. I thought Floyd too at first. That's definitely what I thought, but it's not. Tom Cruise. <laughs> I know you're it's ready definitely not Russian. Floyd. Where are you at? Bluegrass Picker might know, too. Please, for the love of God, do a grunge or ska shirt. Just do it. <laughs> well, I'm not going to look through right. 300 shirts to find we're, it. <laughs> no, we're doing shirts. Well, you know what? If there's a poster or two, I'll grab them in the back tonight, and we'll show we'll show them tomorrow, I promise. We're on from 12 p.m. to 6 Eastern tomorrow. Um, if you guys are around, please come in. Yeah, Over at Brian's. There's a bunch of crazy, like, heavy metal stuff like decapitation and stuff like that but they're in four big totes and they're not in any order so it's 300 shirts that i have to go through to try to figure out what we got so we're just grabbing them out of the boxes and selling them to you guys Here, do that one. Just the whole square there. 
Can I sell it? Yeah. Okay. Definitely a W. Hey, you got the other one? Huh. Your Google Lens. It's just not, I don't, I don't know, for some reason it just doesn't like. I mean, you're just taking pictures now. That's not. Uh, what am I doing? Hit that? I don't know where it yeah. is now. How does it load? I don't know. You went off of it. I have it. Oh, here it is. There you go. China? Yeah, it's almost like it's Chinese. Yeah. Or... We don't know who it is. We don't know. But we're sold anyway. <laughs> Okay, whoever won it, what band is it? All right. Who knows, Scott? Scott, do you know? It's going to be like some rare, rare poster, uh, rare concert shirt. Good for you, Scott. I'm not looking for meat puppets or anything secretly, totally. Oh, meat puppets. We have meat puppets, I think. I think I saw the meat puppets back there. There's some meat puppets. Here's something interesting. This is a long sleeve Delta. It needs to be washed. It's definitely been worn, but it is a medium. But check it out. It is Lego Racers from 2001. Lenny, I'm busy. What do you mean? <laughs> Lego Racers, 2001. Pretty awesome. Ten dollars start. This one needs to be washed, though. This one definitely was worn. But it's cool because it's Legos, it's cars, it's 2001. It's got a neat graphic. All right, Scott's going to come in at 10 on this. Oh, Gary. He'll give us a couple of minutes if we need it. Nice. Thank you, Because we lost some time there, too. Cars the band. What, this one? <laughs> no, this is Lego. Yeah, this is Lego <laughs> Racers. <laughs> this is just a long sleeve Lego Racer shirt from 2001. Um, we had cards earlier. Uh, 3,000 of them, actually. I don't think we're going to have any more cards, so maybe we'll have one more lot today. Another lot of 3,000 cards. Yeah, roughly. All right. And we're going to go once now. It's just cool because Lego is so hot. I'm going to bring some neat Legos to auction tomorrow. I'll try them out. Yeah, you can't register unless we have a registration. I mean, you can't bid unless we have a registration on file for you. We'll go ahead and drop the link. Please make sure you fill out the registration form. And once we have your registration, we will allow you to bid. All right. Okay. Yes, Jade, he just left. There you go. Okay, somebody just asked for the cards. There's another box that Cody put together. Okay, some hockey. Lots of hockey. It's a $20 start, guys. It's roughly 3,000 cards in the box. My son was just taking them out of the other boxes and putting them together. Just reaching down inside so that I can grab other cards because I see some down in here that will move to the top because it's hard to have them in a box like this. 
And you have ones with sleeves in the bottom. Okay. All right. I know the sleeved ones are probably going to be the best ones anyway. But are they all hockey? I don't know. I didn't make the box. Um, Cody. Claude Lemieux. <laughs> is this whole box hockey or is there other stuff? Uh, majority is hockey. Majority is hockey. Okay. There's like olive oil. So it seems like the majority of this box is hockey. Show you guys the ones that were in the bottom there with sleeves on them. Do you tell me a start? $20. 20. 20. Yeah, because they're in a flat rate box. It's going to cost a much to ship. But here's Eric Lindros. Thirty now from Brian. Looking for thirty-two. Scott, you want to come 32? Kyle, 32? Looking for 32 now. 35 to Scott. Okay. And then there's some in sleeves right here. This one's signed with Kyle Reinberg. Signed right there. This is Eric Lindros. Peter Forsberg. That was a $20 card. Number 410 of 3,000. Uh, here's a football one. Dan Marino and Irving Payton. Irving Fryer, sorry. I was going to say <laughs> Irving Payton. Yeah. AR8. 50 now to Brian. Eric Lindros. Here is a Bruce Jenner card. Caitlin Jenner. Don't look up my skirt. 55 from T is your hustlers. This is the Kings. This is Wayne Gretzky. Special card for Gretzky. Craig McTavish. Hockey. 70 now from Brian. 75 would be the next bid. Wayne Gretzky. This is a Bowman's Best. Mark Messier. Guys, don't Our forget $5 increments when we're above 50. Wayne $5 Gretzky. increments. That one is very cool. FX10 on the back. Yamir Yager, Mad Hatter, number 10 of 15. Eric Lindros. It's a rookie, I think. No, it's not his rookie. This is a 95. 75 from Scott. Eric Days, 94, 95 Pinnacle. Joe Sakic. 80 now from Brian. Any more in the box to see if there was more in sleeves or not? But I saw other players that I knew when, when we were going through the first lot. So, 85 now from the Treasure Hustlers. We don't really know sports cards unless they're pre 1970s, like 1975 and back. And then I have an idea. But other than that, we don't. And tomorrow, guys, we're going to do 50 lots today. We're on lot number 49. No. Okay. So tomorrow we're going to do – I have some really, really awesome pieces for tomorrow, some really, really high-end stuff. We're also going to do some more sports cards. I have a big video game lot, about 60 or 70 games in the lot. Uh, we're going to do some comic books, finish off the record albums up front, finish off the vintage clothing, and then we're going to work on concert posters, concert tees. And I have a bunch of 1940s movie posters. The end panel screws off, Dave. Mm -hmm. I think just the bolt. All right, we're going to call it. We have Treasure Hustlers in for 85 going once. And then I have Pokemon with the rest of that Pokemon group tomorrow. I have the other Disney plate, which is much better than the one we sold today. 
So we're going to have some... And we'll have some bigger of the... Yep, um, some 1940s 40s posters. posters. We'll have the and German World War II box. Mm -hmm. And we might have some, not necessarily too vintage, but a little vintage some on some... Carnival glass. We have some carnival glass and some other glass stuff. And some plushies. We're going to have some plushies tomorrow. Lots of great stuff tomorrow. And I promise to... Silver. We're going to do the rest Ch of silver. Chandra, I promise we'll find you at least one or two grunge posters. <laughs> I will look. I will absolutely look. And immediately following us, Gary and Tom and Pirate are standing by. They're going to be coming live after us. Yep. Um, they will push the live button when we push the end button. <laughs> And I thank them for that. And I thank you guys for coming over. But if you still want to see some great stuff at auction, feel free to go over there and uh, go uh, check them out this evening. And we thank you guys for coming. Yeah, and thank you, everybody. We are going to be sold to the Treasure Hustlers for $85. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, Sarah and Jack. That's right, right? Sarah and Jack, yes. Well, that's good. I needed another address. Send them something. <laughs> Guys, don't forget to send Brian an email so much. Um, and tomorrow we're on my channel, on Mr. Buys a Lot. Okay, so Mama G has been dropping that link. Janine's been dropping that link. Uh, Mama G just dropped it again. Email Brian for an invoice on anything that you buy. There's his email address, Mr. Buys a Lot, 795 at gmail.com. At gmail and again, we appreciate all you guys coming in. Thank you so much, Mama G, for all your help today. And uh, we appreciate you so much uh, that you helped us out. Yeah, thank you, Tammy. And uh, guys, thanks You're again. You're welcome. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow over on Brian's channel, 12 noon Eastern. I dropped the link for that, too. There Excellent. You. Thank you. Of course you did. Till 6 p.m. Till 6 p.m. Yeah, maybe seven. Never know. <laughs>